The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am my, I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two excellent comedians. First, he is a very, very funny comedian. Just come back from doing his very first special, Mr. Mike Baldwin. Hi. I'm back. You are back. It didn't go well, so now I'm back on this. <laughs> <laughs> No, it went it went pretty good. I, we did two shows uh, where we taped two shows. They were both pretty awesome. Yeah, we had a heckler or two each time. I dealt with that nicely. And nice. So that might be part of the thing also. Yeah. Okay. And, well, well, before uh, you go into it, let oh, me sorry. introduce okay. the other comedian first. I guess. Uh, nobody nah, really gives fuck a Fuck me. Yeah, yeah. He's the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. Nowhere else on the face of the planet. Mr. Derek the Rec Holders. That's right. That's there how he is. I am. That's a nice song. Yeah, yeah I know, right? It suits you. Anyways. I, I am missing Monday Night Raw for this shit. Oh. <laughs> well, you know. They are here. They are here. Yeah. Oh. I'm missing it. Who is here? A the WWE. But like who? Yeah, name three. The guys. And yeah, stuff. exactly. Yeah. Do we know their names anymore? Is uh, Sting still in it? I don't think I don't think so. Is uh The Undertaker? No, he retired. And what yeah. about um I don't even I can't even think of anybody else. Yeah. Push I, your, they, push I your mic all, back this way. I Am think, I not talking into it? Yeah, oh, that sounds yeah, different. Yeah, it does. There I think go. they all actually, right, let's start over. <laughs> I think they actually all go by their regular names now, so it's not as cool. It's like Mike Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. yeah now they all have they don't have jobs like they used to. Yeah. Where it's like there was a garbage man and shit. Now right. like in the repo man. Like that's all gone now. Now it's just like, eh, Russell full time. That's bullshit. <laughs> that's it. This yeah. guy's following his dream of being a professional wrestler. <laughs> exactly. It used to be like, he lives in a junkyard and he's going to eat your mother. Yeah, exactly and now it's right. like, this guy really wants to be a wrestler. Yeah. yeah. He comes from a long heritage of wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, uh, for the, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to this podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me and that's fine. Uh, this is also so an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend as many people as we possibly can. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. But we have a full show. We've got some sports events to go over. Overrated, underrated, love that guy or fuck that guy. Questions and, pre uh, and preguntas and as always a draft in a shitty situation. But we got to go over what happened to us over the last week. And uh, he kind of already started, but we're excited to hear... Mr. Baldwin, yeah, about how the comedy special went in Kansas City. It good. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to tell you before and you had to introduce this I, other guy. I, I or know. Whatever. I ruined. No, it. it went. It went pretty good. And now the process is uh, they did. They had three cameras from different angles and whatever, and then they had like six microphones like hanging from the ceiling to pick up the audience. Audience, sound. yeah. And so uh, they just sent me video from the straight on shot from both shows and so then i went through and like i did i my jokes go in chunks you know so yeah. like if i have a sex joke i'm probably going to do an, my other sex joke n right after it so first show i did pretty normal the way that i would do when i'm just doing a show and then second show i went through my notes and like wrote down every joke that i could think of that i didn't do the first show mm -hmm. so second show was more of like a smattering of jokes 
and it still went well and the audience Good. was with me and whatever and so now we're editing that stuff together so i went through and watched both of my videos and i made a list of like what jokes i did in what order and then i drew a bunch of arrows and stuff and i was like put this one in here and this one in here and and then i sent it back to the guy and then the guy sent me back that and then i've watched it again and been like all right we'll take out this where i'm like i don't know for no reason yeah as just like filler in the middle i'm like take the i don't know out take whatever and so now we're working on all that stuff and oh wow uh, so you're actually a part of the whole editing process yeah it sounds like that's it, pretty fucking dope i agree it's pretty exciting um so yeah we did that like four or five times back and forth and then today at like three in the afternoon i finally sent what i uh, assume is going to be the last the final cut will you change this to this or whatever so we've got like a good <laughs> flow and everything and now he's just going to go in and like like first show was packed so you can hear it in the audience right. second show was like half full so they'll probably take the laughter from the first show and put it after some of the jokes that I do in the late show. Yeah. But I'm wearing the same shirt and it's the same Damn backdrop it. and everything. So it's all going to be mixed together and you won't be able to know what was what. I, was I like the idea, like one of them, you've got like a full head of hair. Yes. And like I, dude, joke, I thought of it bald. beforehand. The, the club owner <laughs> talked me out of it. I was going to change my shirt and do everything and then still edit them together to be like, this is one night. Yeah. One exactly. show. <laughs> But a lot of people don't know that. A lot of a lot of specials, especially nowadays. Now, obviously, you've got the the old classics and stuff like that, where it was just one take. Oh yeah, or but, like Chris Rock did yeah. his live on yeah. Netflix this it, year. Exactly. But I mean, any more majority of comedians, whenever they do a show like all, like Kreischer, Segura, and all that. It's at the same venue, but it's normally three different nights where they wear the exact same clothes and they tell the same set and then they piece everything together. And a lot of people don't know that. Well, they do now. They do now. Yeah, it's all bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> everything's fake. Everything's bullshit. It but is. really what I've been doing the last month yeah. is playing Zelda. Yeah, I was going to ask you. So it came out. Best game in the world. In I, th ever. I thought the last Zelda game was the best game in the world. And it was yeah. until this one came out. And I mean, it's just, it's so, it leaves you like, you're like, oh, I got to walk a mile that way to do this castle or whatever. Yeah. And then you walk 50 feet and you're like, oh, there's a guy over there. What's that guy doing? And then that guy's like, you need to go into the cave to get the. <laughs> and you're like, all right, I'm going to do the cave thing. But then I'm still headed in that. It just there's always something yeah. to get. And it's just so fun. Did and you ever play Red Dead Redemption? No, no, I was never. A, I, that's like PlayStation stuff, right? Oh, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, no, I've always just been a Nintendo guy. OK, for fine. the most part. OK, uh, except I had a Sega CD when I was... Sega CD? Yeah, I played Sewer Shark. Whoa. It was awesome. It was I, actually terrible. But I, I had Sega Saturn, never Sega CD. Sega CD was before Sega okay. Saturn. All the, right. the, you took the Sega Genesis, and it had a cartridge-shaped yeah. thing with a disc on it, and you plugged it into the Genesis. Okay. And then Sewer Shark was like... A t it was like a video of a guy being like, we're in the sewer, like, follow me or whatever. Oh, dear God. And it was just like a straight up video, like no interaction with it or anything. And then it would cut to like a shitty computer game oh, where yeah. you're like driving in a sewer. And wow. then the guy would be like, good job. <laughs> but it felt, I don't know, it felt it was real. Next level. It really was <laughs> yeah. at the time. At the time, yeah. God damn, so we're what's, old. Uh, what's your special, like, when you're, what are you going to, what platforms are going to be on? Gonna, I don't know. Are you going to put it on YouTube? It'll or? probably end up on YouTube. I'm going to try to get the guys to pitch it to, like, you know, Netflix and Amazon or whatever, if they even know. It's a whole company, so I know that they sure. have connections here and there, but... Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It'll probably just end up on YouTube and I'll sure. just hope that I get a million hits. Well, yeah. And, yeah. It, and, it, and you know what, if you send us the link, we'll share it and you know, get a couple of, you know, one or two people. To That's, come all yeah. That's all I need. That's all you need. 999,998 to go. <laughs> there you go. That's math. <laughs> that, that is. Uh, but anything else that you've been doing other than playing Zelda and doing that? I mean, I know I know those games. I played Zelda games uh, very, you know, yeah. lo but mine are the older stuff, the stuff that I like. But, sure. But uh, I'm, I know those games are fucking long as shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's you could play 
even after you beat the main boss, yeah. it, it, there's still the guy over there. Like, hey, do you want to go into the cave You forgot the going for in the cave, right. you jackass. So the the first Nintendo Switch Zelda game was Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. And it had one of the largest video game maps that have ever, ever been created. Yeah. It takes you like an hour to walk from one side of the map to the other. Maybe longer than that. I don't know. I've never done it. It's yeah. too fucking far. Yeah. I, I fly <clears throat> instead. Yeah, exactly. But... So this new game has the same map as before, except a bunch of shits happened, so stuff has changed. But now there's that map, plus there's Sky Islands, and oh. now there's a whole underground system. Fuck so yeah, you gotta go to hell. It's the same map yeah. times three. Okay. So it's three times as big as the biggest thing I've ever played. Nice. It's ridiculous. So dude. you're like heaven, hell, and earth. That's what you got yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. Kind of much. is. That's, yeah. a, that's okay. I dig it. I kind of dig it. And when you're up in some of the Sky Islands, you're like way lighter lighter so you can jump farther and oh. sort of floaty and stuff it's a little stuff definitely definitely not on earth though right uh i don't know it's hyrule okay wherever could, hyrule is could located. be another flat earth thing i think it's in michigan michigan yeah oh it's yeah. gotta be in michigan. i'm sorry yeah, yeah. no Fuck. you're right yeah Zelda, that's definitely a michigan name <laughs> it's gotta yeah. be yeah it's a it's a suburb of detroit I like how they don't. Nobody has last names. <laughs> what Link? Yeah. Oh yeah. What's nobody. Link's last name? Uh, Chumkowski or something. That's what it was. <laughs> Squire in, uh, in Michigan. Man. Oh and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Link Linkovich Chumkowski. Yeah. Okay. All right. We the juice. Yep. Um, all right. Well, anything else uh, since you've been back? I mean, at all that you've been doing? No. No. Okay. Zelda. I mowed my grandma's lawn. That's that's good shit though. That's, I got it. That's therapeutic lawn mowing time. Oh yeah, no, it, it's good. I'm lying. I'm not. Okay, I, fuck it. I hate it. I'm that. I'm getting to the age where it's like, well, that counts as exercise. Oh Jesus! I haven't exercised since last week when I mowed grandma's lawn. So yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to do it again tomorrow. Fair enough. Fair enough. Because it's growing. She can't even stand to look at it. <laughs> like, actually stand up to look at it? Or? No, that's just what I heard the oh, last okay. time I talked to her. I was like, how's the lawn looking? And she's like, it's getting to where I don't even want to look at it. That's oh. how long it is. Okay. I just mowed it last Wednesday, but it's been raining. It has. Yep. What anyway. If, what if some chick just for that, like, I don't want to even look at your penis. It's getting so long. <laughs> that's yeah. ridiculous. I wish. Like, I don't dro- even want to look at it it's anymore. It's a little droopy. Yeah. That's probably what That's what I was. I listened to a story today about how uh, AI and deep fakes and stuff, people are worried about them, like, making videos of them saying racist stuff or whatever. Oh, yeah. But they were like, really, what it's going to be, 99% of it is going to just be porn. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, I would like to see what the deep fake thinks my dick looks like. <laughs> Because I almost guarantee it's going to be a compliment, you know. I'm going to be like, I wish. All right. Good job, I'm, AI. I'm packing. <laughs> uh, how about you, Derek? How was the last uh, last week or so? Uh, I did kind of the same, along the same lines. I played a video game that I went and recently purchased. Uh, yeah? It was terrible. What was it? Uh, Gollum, the Lord of the Rings Gollum. Oh, it was no. God fucking awful. Yeah, I'm sure it was. So, And it was like I'd already started it, so I like, I had to finish it. Ugh. And it was it was miserable. And then uh, my wife and I we went to uh, estate sales. What? Yeah, we went to some estate sales, and a lot of people uh, a lot of people don't bequeath their walkers. Those. Uh, oh no! No, those are for sale. Wow! In every one of them. Did like you, I'm not. Did to, you get one? No. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Never know though. <laughs> you might need one. That's dude. always like the last thing left is like some walkers, a wedding dress, and hangers. Like that's what's yeah. left. That's sad, <laughs> that, right? <laughs> but but you know, for for what it's worth, maybe not necessarily walkers. But if you find a set of crutches, buy them. Really? Yeah. Because you never know. You never fucking know. Dog. I feel like that's inviting like God to be like, oh, you want to fucking use crutches, <laughs> huh? I'll let you use them. <laughs> but you never need them when you get hurt. Now you got to go buy them, and they're and you're paying full price. Fuck that shit. No, nah, I just power through. Oh, do you? <laughs> yep. Walker. I was in the in the basement of one of these houses, and this guy had like there was like a shitload of like old tools laid out and. Uh, one guy's walking through because there's a bunch of people in the house looking at shit, and one guy's like, "Man, this stuff's all so damn antiquated, you can't even use it anymore." And then I watch him proceed to pick up like a box of fucking cords, just cords, and he's like, "I gotta have this." I'm like, "Jesus Christ, man!" <laughs> well, good thing they still make two prong outlets, I guess. Yeah. 
Boy, that'll never die. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. I don't like when people complain at like the garage sale or the estate sale or yeah. whatever. It's like, dude, this is my shit. Like, do you think I want to be giving this away for a dollar? Right. Like, I I wish it was worth something. Yeah. I wish I had things that ha- had value. Yeah. Like, you don't have to shit on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll would. give you fifty cents for this thing that meant something to you for several years. <laughs> like, it says a dollar, dude. Just give me a dollar. That's the thing. The haggle down from the dollar. Like, right? Get get the fuck out of here, dog. Really? Eh, I mean, it's. I think it's an age thing more than anything. Is that what it is? My grandma's that way. Like, I'll go pick up a prescription for her, and it'll be like 1997. And I'll be and she like, haggles with the person behind the counter no, and says, I'll, give it to me like, for 15. I'll go get it for her and bring it to her. And she'll be like, what do I owe you? And I'll be like, 20 bucks. And she'll look at the receipt and be like, it doesn't say 20 bucks here. Oh, God. And then she'll give me $19.97 <laughs> in change. And I'm like, I guess it adds up. All right. Like over years and years, she's probably saved dozens of dollars <laughs> by doing this. Nine of those were $2 bills. That's right. <laughs> she still has them. Still puts him in his birthday card too. Yeah, it's like I, I did realize one thing is is going through those estate sales, like because there wasn't shit. Yeah, like my estate sale is gonna be lit. <laughs> it's gonna be lit. <laughs> it's gonna the fuck day me. one, it might be. Yeah, because you'll have be. like video games and movies and stuff, Memorab- speaker systems. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. but after day one, it's gonna just be like, do you want some? Excel, extra large shirts. <laughs> extra large. <laughs> You're like, I wish. <laughs> I know. I'm, I, this Thanks, is a two X yeah. that I got on. I didn't know how many numbers to say. I didn't want to be a dick. <laughs> no, you, you, it's all the numbers. <laughs> My shirt and porno are the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Do you use that on stage? No. You should, dude. That's funny. <laughs> be like, I accidentally went to a porn shop the other day because I just wanted to find some shirts that. Fit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> and stolen. Yeah, uh, there was another thing too. As, as I was scrolling through TikTok, and occasionally I'll find some good stuff on there. Yep. And a guy was talking about this movie that he had seen, and I didn't know about this, so I had to watch it. And he basically, the way he set it up is exactly what it is. It's a movie called Tiptoes. Have you heard of it? No. Oh Jesus! It, it is on Amazon Prime. It has Matthew McConaughey and Kate Beckinsale. Okay. And Gary Oldman. You know who Gary Oldman is? Of course. Okay. So um, the whole deal is, is Matthew McConaughey is dating this girl. They're getting ready to get married. She ends up pregnant. And then Matthew McConaughey's twin brother, she's never met any of his family. And his twin brother shows up at the door one day while he's like out working. And his twin brother is a midget. Oh, and great. Then, and she's like, oh, and then she realizes that his whole family are all midgets. Nice! And he's like the only normal size guy. So now she's like freaked out that her baby is going to be a midget. <laughs> and they, at one point, she's like, I just, so your whole family's midgets? And he, in, in the McConaughey accent, he's like, they're not midgets, they're dwarves, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is, is that Gary Oldman, like, the lead midget isn't even a midget. Okay. Like, like, Gary Oldman plays his twin brother who's a midget. Wow, so it's, wow. like, CGI Yeah, CGI dwarfism. midget, yeah. Wow, couldn't have got Brad Williams. I mean, Pe- anybody. Peter Dinklage is in it. Well, he yeah. is good. He has a French accent, and he's an asshole. Okay, and naturally. It's, yeah, it's... I mean, is it, were you, is it funny or is it sad or? Uh, like, I, I I just enjoy midgets, period. I'm a child. <laughs> is it like a I am Sam sort of thing where it's like uh, at the end, you're like, midgets are all right. <laughs> no, well, well kind of, yeah. You're like, yeah. at the end of I am Sam, you're like, retard should have children. <laughs> you kind yeah, I would say then yes. I'm yes. sorry, I didn't. Yeah, know. midgets should have retards. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was it was it was a movie. <laughs> like I can't say it was good because it wasn't. No, but it was entered. It kept my entertainment, or it kept me entertained. <laughs> Just watch it. So if you got an hour and and thirty two minutes, I don't. <laughs> I, have, I have to play Zelda. 
I did watch uh, the this the last like five episodes of Dave on FX. Oh, you guys man. watch that? Yes, I love it. Did you finish? Did you was watch that? The not end? crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> yes. Did you watch it, no. Scotty? Do you even know what we're talking about? Fuck no! I'm still trying to put together tiptoes, <laughs> midgets, and retards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You focus on that. <laughs> Don't try not to, or else D- I'm gonna keep crying. Dave is a, a oh. rapper named Lil Dicky. Okay, mm-hmm. I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. It's really, really good. I want to watch it. It's equal parts like heartwarming and hilarious and Perfect. like dope raps. Yeah, yeah. Like, and he's just a nerdy white dude. Look, I have goosebumps. Nice. I, that's how <laughs> cool it is. Yeah. No, and he's just a dorky Jewish white kid, and they'll be like, "All right, do a little rap." He's like, oh, you want me to rap? And then he just fucking starts going. And the music is so good in it. Nice. And yeah, the season finale of this final season was nuts. What's it on? FX. FX. Oh, okay. I watch it on Hulu. Okay. All right. That's what. I, that's. What I want to get to the stream. The streaming is my my shit. But I gotta. I gotta binge that shit. I yeah. talked about it last week. Okay. Yeah. That's the one that had yeah. Brad Pitt in the, in the season finale. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, which just speaks highly for how good it is because they're like, Oh, you think we can get Brad Pitt? And Brad Pitt's like, I'll fucking do it, <laughs> absolutely. Or guess, Brad Pitt's agent is like, Here's what you're fucking doing tomorrow. <laughs> right. I guess and Brad, he's like, Pitt's yes, sir. Like, I guess Brad Pitt's like a big fan of the show, like, he loves the show. And Who that's wouldn't how he be? Ended up, that's cool. how he ended up on it because I, I was curious and looked that shit up. I'm like, How the fuck they get Brad Pitt? Wow. Um, all right, any god damn. Midgets and re- having retards, man, that's great. Um, <laughs> Quit saying it. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's all right. It's an offensive show. Um, anything else that you did at all? No, I just watched the midget movie. You man. forgot one thing because you showed me a picture of it. And, unless you don't want to tell well, people. No, what is it? What are you talking about? What'd you, what'd you get over the weekend? Oh, the urn. Yeah, yeah. I bought a an urn for yourself. Yeah, yeah I bought a, an urn signed by the Undertaker. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting that I brought up his name earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. should have been like, actually, that that turned the light bulb on. Yeah, but, I forgot all about that. But yeah, I did. Yeah, I bought that. And it's cool as shit because Derek normally likes to just buy like the the stereotypical stuff for the most part, like baseballs for baseball players and stuff, but. He's got some cool stuff too, but the urn is now like one of my top top things that he's. Are got. you gonna put your kill ashes him and in take it? it in his estate <laughs> yale, state sale? I Fuck mean, like, yeah. is that your plan? Is to like in your will be like, and I want to be put in my Undertaker urn, and then priced. At the estate sale. Yeah. <laughs> Someone yeah. goes home with my ashes. And you're like, no, you have to keep the ashes in it. They're right. like, oh, sweet. It's an undertaker. Then they get it home and knock it off the shelf and just I spill out all over their floor. Absolutely. And then ghost you is floating up there. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh, we thought it was the undertaker. <laughs> and you're like, nope, just a guy. I like to think that Derek would actually kind of resurrect a little bit. And whoever has the urn gets to control everything that he fucking does. I think that'd be just fine. That seems like some kind of hell. Yeah, it would be. I'd, I I'd be one. I'd be the. I'd be the Paul Bear guy. That's speaking right. of uh, hell, I'm excited that the new season of Black Mirror is coming out on Netflix on I've, June 21st. I saw bits and pieces of that, and I'm out, dog. Yeah, I watched that first episode, and I was like, Ugh. Uh, that, yeah. the first episode is easily the uh, most disturbing. N- no, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's easily the least technological one. Everything else is like future technology sort of stuff. That's more of just like a, here's what could happen in yeah. the future. There's yeah. still technology in it, but it's mostly the pig and the guy. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's like, I'm, it's just freaky and it fucking yeah. makes you feel uncomfortable. And there's one where there's like an AI version of a guy who doesn't realize he's an AI. He thinks he's the guy. And so they're just like, uh, he's just living in this room and he can't fucking get out. And then there's one sentence at the end where one cop says to another, he's like, I cranked him up to a thousand years a minute or whatever. Should I unplug it or whatever? And the guy's like, ah, just leave it on for the weekend. So then people are doing the math online and it's like, dude, that's like 190,000 years that this guy's just stuck in a room as far as he knows. Jesus Christ. Right? That and then, sucks. yeah, that's what I have fucking I'm out. nightmares about. I would too. That's why I don't watch that shit. I did watch that uh, thing with the dude that invented the uh, flaming Hot Cheetos. That, that I saw that it that. was on. I've heard the story. Yeah, it was pretty decent. All right. It was decent. Okay. Yeah, they're doing pretty good, huh? Yeah, probably. Yeah. What's the most popular potato chip in the world? Ooh. 
Lay's. I was gonna probably, say probably they were Lay's original. They, how, where's guess. Where's Flaming Hot Cheetos on that list? Top they top ten. Said how much it's worth? Like it's worth like two billion dollars in sales. Yeah, a year but that doesn't mean anything to me. Like yeah, I, real two billion dollars. That's piss money. I got it fucking. No, special. but I mean it's like you know like the porn industry makes a hundred billion dollars a day or yeah. whatever. And I'm like yeah, but who's making the money? You who's know? paying for the porn? That's what I want to know. <laughs> right? That's the real question. Advertisers. Yeah, yeah probably. BlackRock and shit. Yeah, cool. Um, all right. Well, I guess I'll kick off my week. I got my new. Uh, I'll get through the golf very, very quickly. I got new golf irons. Cool. And that's the golf. Nope. Let's. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, go ahead. Those nope. are two separate things. You got golf Play- and irons. Ah, yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, played in a golf tournament. Did okay uh, with the new irons. Uh, but I did go to Top Golf. Have you been to Top Golf? That's not really golf. Is it? It's like driving range, <clears throat> kind of, right? sort of. But yeah, even if you suck, you can play games like Angry Bo- Birds and shit like that. So even if you suck, they try to make it fun for everybody. And I went to the very same place where that viral video of the kid just ran out onto the fucking thing and was running around, and her mom had to go chase her and get her back. Uh, I was at that place. All right, <clears throat> was the kid there? Uh, no, because uh. <laughs> I'm not, I'm definitely one of the people that would have actually st- like hit at the kid. Were people trying to? Um, in the video, it doesn't look like it, but I'm like, Shh. I'm the guy going, hit at her. Fuck that kid. Yeah, teach her a lesson. Right. But no, it was a lot of fun. Um, it, it, I mean, they did a pretty decent job. I feel like, like in Wichita, it's always like the step down from the really cool places in places like Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, and, and places in Texas. Like We have like the dumbed down version of that in Wichita, but they actually did a pretty good job. It's got two floors good for them two floors yeah yeah they got the they got the main level and then the, you can uh, go upstairs an upstairs an upstairs that's yeah. fancy they got an upstairs and a downstairs right that takes money right it, there. it does it does uh, speaking of taking money i i uh, bought a new truck did you i did did i walk past it on my sure way sure did didn't even notice same color how'd that make you feel it made, oh, like you didn't fuck. even notice i spent a hundred grand on this thing and oh, fact, not no dude like one of my best friends uh that i that i golf with um i pick picked him up to go take him to the tournament i see him at least twice a week uh got into the truck and didn't say a fucking thing yeah not a thing is and it this, the same no no it's totally different totally different much larger okay much larger yeah. didn't even fucking notice he, like the only thing that he knows, he's putting his golf bag in the back of my truck, and then he's like, "Hey, dude, did you remo- remove the liner that was in the back here?" I was like, "No," and I had like that smile on my face, like I'm ready for it to hit. Uh-huh. He's like, "Oh, okay," and then walks around the front, <laughs> gets in the passenger seat, and just like, getting on the phone. I'm like, "Dude," not to mention the touch screen on this thing is like massive. It's like. 12 inches wide. I mean, that's nah, probably bigger than play that. Play some fucking Zelda on that You can thing, definitely yeah. play some Zelda on that shit. Yeah? Yeah. Does but, it have a DVD player? Uh, No. I had one of those in my car for a while, but it those got were, stolen. Those were the shit. Yeah, back in the day when you had to take your your CD player out and put it in your... I, like, when I should have. Yeah. yeah. But I was <laughs> yeah. like, nah, people don't steal that kind of stuff. It was dangerous, though. Yeah. I had the fucking Harry Potter box set, and I would drive around with it and like watch Harry Potter as <laughs> on, yeah. on road trips and stuff. You had that DVD screen that come out first and then flipped up. Uh-huh. That's some dope shit back yeah. in the day, I man. didn't choose it. It was just in the car when I bought it, and yeah. I was like, fuck yeah, all right. And then it was out of the car while you were driving. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I did, I did actually start watching it. You can't even really call it a show. It's like these skits on Netflix. I think it's called uh, I Think You Should Leave. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Did you hear about this? That's one of those shows that is funnier a week after you watch it than it is while you watch it. Oh, I thought it was hysterical. Really? I did. I thought it was fucking... Al- but then There's again... about one uh, an episode that get me. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's about where I'm at. And yeah. that's kind but, of the one that I'm at, too. But I don't know if that's a great percentage Maybe not. Because there's so many that I'm like, I didn't find the humor in that at all. But then I'll see the guy's Twitter or something, and he'll just post like a frozen shot of him <laughs> from that sketch. And I'm like, all right, yeah, that was funny, I yeah, guess. exactly. Now that I'm thinking about it. I've had the fucking ghost tour when stuck in my head. The what? The ghost oh, yeah. Ghost tour. Where, Don't give it away, because I didn't watch a whole bunch. Okay, it's the end. Of, it's towards it's Where the beginning they're like, of season two. They're like, okay. this is the adult ghost yeah, tour, so you, you can, can cuss if you want. Oh, and yeah. He's, and he's asking particular cusses yeah. if he's allowed to say them. But I, can I, I say big, fat horse cock? Or whatever he says. <laughs> I guess, yeah. And there's like a, other people there. Like, we just want to hear the ghost tour. And he's like, what about... Uh? <laughs> Did any of these, these fuckers ever just have like a messy shit and then come shot all over the wall? Well, like that's the thing. Each episode's only seventeen minutes long, so uh, I feel perfect. 
I don't think so. I think if they jam if they jam two together and made a thirty minute episode, I think that'd be even better. But it's basically SNL skits only with a higher. Uh, they have more money to budget. spend, higher budget. Yeah, that's basically what it looks like to me, and it's great. the two, the The group of chicks that were like Instagramming what they were doing and oh, talking yeah. shit on each other was I haven't fuck. Seen that. I was like the very that's, that's, that's maybe the first season. episode. That's like second episode or oh, something. Maybe I, oh, oh maybe I. Yeah, I did. It's fucking great. Yeah, where they're all at dinner yes. or whatever, and she's right. like, "Oh, hey, <laughs> these fat fucking pigs." Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I'm like, that's spectacular. It's probably real. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen that, go check that out. I really enjoyed it. But, I think uh, you should <clears throat> leave. Yeah. I, yeah, I think you should leave. That's what. No, it was. I was talking right, to Eric. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Right. Zing. Keep laughing, asshole. Zing. Okay, uh, but yeah, that was my week. So I hope everybody had a great week out there. Now I know we have Fourth uh, of July coming up, so start buying your fireworks, but don't set them off before if you got people that have dogs like mine because he'll go ape shit and destroy his house. And remember the fun contest. <clears throat> Whoever holds it the longest wins. That's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Uh, but no, we do got a great show to uh, to go over this week. But uh, before we get to that, I do want to give a shout out to my friends at BattlecornCarePackages.com. Yeah, it's a serious topic, and yeah, it sucks, but it's something real that we want to be a part of to help raise money for BattlecornCarePackages.com. It's a great uh, nonprofit organization. I'm helping Curtis uh, with a couple of things, helping him um, as try to get his name out there and try to get to their goal of twenty five thousand uh, dollars. If you have not done so yet, please go to their website, BattlecornCarePackages.com. Com and uh, provide any, any help that you can. Uh, they would really appreciate it, and they do a lot of great things, making care packages for kids going through uh, cancer, and, and that's a big thing with them. So uh, really, really big supporter of them. Thank you very much to those guys. Check them out, battlecordandcarepackages.com. Okay, let's that, get on to the show. What, that, what? I just think that's cool. I didn't know that you had them as a sponsor or uh, whatever. And it, they're, they've become friends of the show, and I, I really do appreciate what they do. But Yeah, um, my mom yeah. had cancer. Well, my dad had cancer, too, but that was years ago, and mm-hmm. I didn't. But my mom had cancer more recently and just got so much shit for free. Yeah. And I went to all these places, you know, like, I don't think I'm going to buy anything. And they were like, honey, you don't have to pay for this. And it was just nice, you know, yeah. to be like, oh, I can just, you're just going to give this to me because yeah. I'm dying. <clears throat> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's or, a shit. Or fighting. Yeah. Sorry. No, kid that's getting their absolutely not. No, they they do. Package. They, <laughs> they, Am I gonna die? <laughs> no, not gonna die. It's been. It's it's actually. It came. It became a friendship after after a joke that we did was all, was the whole thing. We did it a joke that you know probably at the time was. I mean, it was probably a little darker than what we normally would go, and and it connected us, and it, it turned into something positive, which was actually kind of cool. But it. And now we have a great relationship and they, they are a nonprofit organization that put like care packages, like blankets and things like that for kids that are going through like uh, chemo and things. It's, it's a pretty, pretty cool stuff. And, and so I'm helping them with a couple of things. So yeah, check them out. Nice. But let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get to the the stuff why everybody's really here. Let's get to the current events. We got some sports stuff to go over real quick. Uh, I know. I know. But we'll make it as fun as possible for you down there. Okay. I promise. Uh, Stuff you don't know about first. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon uh, playing for the Pittsburgh Pirates. I don't know, but I think he's got a couple seasons still left that I think he'll probably try to play. At least one more, I guess. But he hit number 2,000. He's got 2,000 hits. MVP, maybe. Or not MVP. All-star or... (laughs) Uh, sorry, Hall of Famer, yes or no, is what I was going to ask. Not right now. Not right now? No. 2,000 hits, close. I don't think get you in. I, I don't think so, but anymore with the with the selection of what we have to put in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, but now if he's out of this, if he's in the steroid era, he's in. But now he's not. He's past the steroid era. Okay. So there's a lot better. He had a couple of really good years, but no, I don't he, think he's in. Okay. Is Fair. that what Bernie Max Mr. 3,000 was about? Yes. Yes. He got 3,000 hits. Yeah. He got one taken away, and then he had or two taken away or something. He had to go, go back, back and get it. Like, oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. I should watch that. You should. I've tried to find McGruber. I can't find it on anything. So really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's one of those that you got to, I think you got to just rent it. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. Pay your five ninety nine for <laughs> no. your shitty movie. Fuck nah. that. I ain't doing that. Tiptoes um, is free, Mike. Is it? It's What's on it on? Prime. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll, okay. I will watch that then. Uh, big shocker. Uh, the XFL ends up losing sixty million dollars in its first year under Dwayne Johnson. Big surprise! Oh man, they are the WNBA of the football world. They sure are. Yeah, 
See, but that's another number like that where I'm like, you know, you're like, uh, you know, flaming hot Cheetos are two billion dollars, yeah. and then you're like, oh, that sucks. The XFL lost sixty million, and I'm like, so you're telling me a bag of chips is worth more than like these millionaire sports stars? Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, ridiculous. More yeah. people want to eat Cheetos, Mike, than people want to watch a shittier Shitty brand football. football. Yeah. yeah. That's how that works. Everybody needs to eat. Not everybody needs to watch shitty football. I don't know why they're trying it again. Didn't they do it years ago? They did. It was after that game. What was the video game? Uh, uh, Blitz. NFL Blitz. Blitz. Blitz, yeah. yeah. And they were like, it's going to be like that. And I'm like, you can't make it like that. No. Nah. Like, oh, this guy has double speed. Well, so the, now everybody has to, you got to run twice as slow yeah. <laughs> as normal unless you're that guy. That, that guy would actually be kind of cool to see everybody do that. Yeah. And nobody wears helmets. Nobody. Uh, but no, the whole thing is, though, is like, I, I, I'm not shocked, but they had better organization around this season. They had good markets, like, St. Louis was a good market for the XFL because that's practically it, it was it was the best in the XFL by a long shot. They actually sold out a couple of games, but then you have other markets that didn't do so hot, and it's just like uh, I just don't see it going very far, yeah. especially after the first year. Normally, you have normally you have the first year be like the big huge reveal and the blowout and stuff. Very rarely do you have the big blowout and then like, oh, wait a minute, this actually is good product. And not to mention a lot of these players that were the stars of the XFL are getting extra shots to go back to the NFL. So it's, I don't know. It's hmm. just it's just going to be difficult to compete with the uh, Derek's favorite sport, the NFL. No, I don't so, like the NFL that much. It's like wrestling, right? Mm -hmm. You're missing NFL football right now here in Wichita, Kansas. At darn. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Wrestling. Because it's wrestling. Yeah, I know. I told you yeah. that. Okay, all right. Because they're both scripted. Exactly. That's correct. Uh, <laughs> fine. Uh, Nick Taylor. Uh, so there's golf. Never uh, heard of her. I know. You haven't. Nick Taylor becomes the first Canadian winner at uh, RBC Canadian Open since 1954. It's a golf tournament. And the reason why I brought that up was because it was a big celebration uh, after that golf tournament. There was another Canadian golfer that came out with like a bottle of champagne right after he made the, the winning putt. Got leveled the fuck out by security. Oh, really? Another golfer. Another golfer. The security guard didn't recognize him, and this guy's coming out to celebrate with this Canadian champion for the Canadian Open. Gets laid the fuck out. It wow. was great. And that's why I think golf needs to start doing more of that shit. Did he get hurt, or did he get back up? And I, I don't know if he got hurt. I bet he's suing somebody. It which looked. which floor of the top golf was he on? <laughs> he was on the top, sh <laughs> top shelf, dog. Top shelf. Damn, he went down a ways. I know. I know. Uh, but get, uh, speaking of getting laid the fuck out, at least uh, we're recording this show uh, on a Monday. So this is the uh, game five of the NBA finals. Mm -hmm. uh, so if uh, we don't talk about the champion, that's why. Um, it's probably going to be Denver after tonight. I think so, too. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'll be happy with that. I, I'm actually I don't really care who wins the NBA finals. I'm happy with both both kind of storylines. But um, how's LeBron doing? Not he's playing. at home. Oh, he's okay. at home. Yeah. yeah, that's what I know about basketball. That's good mm -hmm. enough. That's all. You so need this to. is the potential final basketball game of Correct. the year. Yep. Yep. And if it's not, then it'll be like tomorrow or the next day or oh, something. The next well, day. not of the year. The season will start in October. Yeah. Next yeah. year. Yeah. Huh. Stupid. Uh, but during game four of uh, of um, the Heat and Nuggets, Conor McGregor punched Miami's my mascot as a part of a promotion for McGregor's pain relief spray, and the hit actually sent the man who plays Bernie the uh, to the E. Are. Wow. Well, he was supposed to hit him, I think, once. Once. And then he hit him, and then he knocked him down, and then he got him real good when he was on the ground. Yeah, he Dan Hendo Henderson him like like the fucking crush, and uh, apparently he went to the ER after that. Or not the ER. Yeah, the ER. Hmm. I don't know. In ICU. Something like that. I mean, you're. I feel like you're not making good life choices if you're putting on a mascot uniform. I do, too. And getting to go knocked to work. out. Yeah, I don't, the Denver. Like, hey, this guy who punches people for a living, you know, would be funny. Let's let him punch Let's me. Let him hit you. 
And then he's like, you weren't supposed to punch me that hard. And he's like, you didn't fucking say you're wearing bigger than football pads. I thought you would be fine. Oh, yeah, and it was a whole ordeal where he had gloves up. And I looked. I, I tried to make sure, like, this wasn't a whole act or anything mm-hmm. like that. Like, because it was supposed to be an act deal. But I guess it actually did send the guy to the emergency room. And, and he has see, since, like, blood coming out of the I don't know. The head. I don't know. But, yeah, the mascot head The was bottom bleeding. of the head. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. But no, he's since been released. You know, I know that money's no object to you, Matt, or Mike, but uh, the Denver Nuggets mascot makes like $632,000 a year. Really? As yes. he should. Man, that's like... Uh, you know how many bags? Uh, I was going to say, you know how many XFLs <laughs> you could almost start with that? That's right. Ah, uh, shit. I have some sports. Oh, do you? Yes. What you got? Uh, the Oakland A's are having a reverse boycott. I fucking love it. Have you heard about oh, it? Oh, 100% I have. Yeah, they. Uh, I'll read you the exact specifics of it. Um, if you're in the Oakland area, please do this. Uh, fans of the o- Oakland A's have scheduled a reverse boycott for tomorrow's game. Okay. Um, they will pack Oakland Coliseum to show that fans are not the problem. They have raised $30,000 with plans to hand out 7,000 T-shirts in the parking lot that say sell. Wow. Why? What are they wanting to do? They so, want to keep the team in Oakland instead yes. of moving it where? Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Because so what has happened is the owner has taken every bit of money out of that team. He's traded everybody away. He's not paying any of the players any worth of shit. Yeah. And is tanking on purpose so he can say, now nah, the fans aren't going because if who wants to go watch that? They're historically bad. Yeah. And like one of the worst teams ever in 100 plus years of baseball. I don't know, man. I watched Moneyball. <laughs> That's correct. This yeah. is different. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the guys that he that he got that were performing in Moneyball, he trades those guys too. Oh, yeah. okay. So, yeah. so um, <laughs> there's only one team with a worse payroll than them, and that's the Royals. Ah, oh, that's okay. There's another one right there. There you go. And dropped my pen. So, um, yeah. So the the benefit is if nobody goes to the games, he can say, hey, we suck. Nobody comes there. Hey, nobody's coming to the games. We need to move the team. They move the team to Vegas. He makes a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, or everybody goes to the games and the stands get packed. He's like, hey, sweet. I don't have to put any more, any more into this team. And he makes a lot of money. So there's no... So There's no this downside is, for this right. Guy. This is the best option, I think, is to have everybody in the ballparks. But if he you. comes out and he's like, "All right, fine, we'll keep it here," then they'll be like, "Great." No, and they want to go, sell. They, it. they want to sell the team. Sell the team. Yeah, oh. and it, to somebody that will actually fucking attempt to win. He's right. not trying to win. He hasn't been trying to win. But I'm saying, if the stadium stays in Oakland, it they'll w- there will come a point in a few months where they're like, "All right, good, we won. We won that argument." Yeah. And, but then they still won't go to the games. Right. Till he sells. He needs to sell the team. Yeah, that's it's already basically a boycott to the owner specifically. Him. Yeah. they they get mm. like there's games where they've drawn like twenty eight hundred people. People are getting dome jobs though up in like the rafters and shit like that. It's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's a place to go and get Oakland. Hit. Yeah, Oakland, baby. That and I got one more baseball. Go you for see it. The Yankee announcer that got hit. I did. I was going to mention that as well. He got a foul ball directly hit at him as hey. he's a, as he's, as he's announcing it. the game. Yeah, he's like, oh, and that is a foul ball. Holy, God. <laughs> it hit him right, <laughs> right in, the in the head. Did it hurt him? Uh, it well, couldn't have felt bit. good. Yeah, I'll show you the video later. Okay. Uh, but but then he ended up like going through it. And yeah, just he, proceeding finished, on. he finished, finished the, the game. broadcast. Yeah, of course he did. I wonder if he had one of those big. Like goose eggs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. But I thought that was pretty neat, too. Um, Can you, you could kill a guy with a baseball, right? Oh, 100%. Oh, like it's throwing happened. Throwing it hard enough. It's happened. Before. But has it ever happened with a golf ball? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, 100%. I feel like golf ball is like, I'm not softer, but just small oh, and light no. enough. Oh, no. I think it's probably. I think golf balls probably, if he hits you in the head, it's probably more deadly than a baseball. Really? No. Yeah. I'd be willing the to speed, bet. The speed. The speed off of a off of that yeah, is Yeah, if you're like right next to it. But if no. It's, uh, that would be a, that would suck to just have to be like 10 feet away so and a dude uses his driver. I'm going to give you the math. Would. I'm going to give you the math that I know. Okay. The math that I know is, is that, so my, my swing Sorry. speed my swing speed right now is anywhere from 110 mile an hour to about 112 and that's moving it. Um, now a baseball coming off of a bat leaving the yard. So we're talking a absolute piss missile from home plate to like the bleachers. Is it about 115 miles an hour? That's smoked. Yeah. Right. A golf ball is in like 130s. 
Okay. That's that thing is moving. So if that thing hits you in the head, yeah, you're done. It's not that common, but this is a sad story. A six year old girl died Monday after she was struck in the head by a golf ball that her father hit. <laughs> See? Yeah, that God. Yeah, dude. You know what's even more fucked up is every year they have a golf tournament in memorial of her. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. No. I was like, what? <laughs> no, this, Absolutely not. This random article mm. says uh, it's pretty rare. Uh, it's Well, so is a, kid, a guy dying by baseball. That's true, yeah. yeah. Golf balls for sure move very, very speedily, which amps up the mass. Uh, yada, yada, yada. If it hits you in the head, nose, it can certainly cause serious trouble. But has anyone ever been killed? I hate when they do this clickbait yeah, I know. shit. Yeah, that's actually, that's, that's what happens, by the way. Uh, but while you look for that. This I'm, is important. Oh, whatever. I'll move right, on. Nope, I'm done. Uh, another another sport that you can probably die, and that is a hockey puck. Have you seen some hockey lately? Is ho- yeah. Do hockey pucks travel faster than golf balls? I don't believe so. I, b- I know they're moving. I don't know. That's know funny because in my mind, I'm like, oh, yeah, hockey puck could fucking kill you. It's, it's definitely heavier than a golf ball. Okay. I know that, and I bet you they are moving. They're definitely in the hundreds, I bet. Oh, for uh, sure. Uh, what know? would a bowling ball do if it was traveling as fast as a golf ball and hit you in the head? Probably blow your head off. You. Do you yeah. think it would just? Oh, 100%. We should do. We should call MythBusters. We, uh, they retired. Ah, oh, but I should, <laughs> surprise. We should rip them off. I'm so surprised you brought that up because guess what show I've been watching on repeat for the last couple of weeks? MythBusters. God damn right. No, I was gonna uh, say Ice Road <laughs> Truckers. <laughs> yeah, Ice Road Truckers yeah. is right. Uh, but no, so we got hockey going on, um, and I know JP is a huge hockey fan. He's not here, but it looks like the Golden Knights are going to win. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you're going to have a good old-fashioned Stanley Cup, you better have some knuckle puck going on while you do it, because apparently at the end of Game 4 in Florida was a nice good old-fashioned brawl, which I think you got to have hockey fights, man. Yeah. yeah. That's what makes it more entertaining, I especially guess. for the playoffs. Uh, but yeah, the Panthers came back and it was it ended up being two to three and it was really really close going into it. Uh, the Knights, uh, Golden Knights, started off like th- they scored three straight goals and then Panthers were coming back and just couldn't couldn't close it out. But it was a lo- it was a lot of fun. I really love fucking the hockey playoffs. It's better than probably most anything. Sports else. Sports are fun. Yeah, that's my stance. Yeah, do the sports, get the points. Uh huh. Right. Um, and then the uh, other news, uh, Apple is finally removing ducking from autocorrect. I'm excited about Apple news in general. Oh yeah. But yeah. They're, they're using a smarter like AI or something for their autocorrect now. So, so, so ducking is gone. If you want to say fuck, then you can say it you now. You can say it now. Without your phone being like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but what if, what if I'm like, hey, you better be ducking those punches. Now That's it's right. Correct right. It. Exactly. Now it's like, wow, was, you like getting fisted? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's that's the it'll be smart enough to know whether you're talking about being fisted or yeah just regular a, intercourse just yeah, ready yeah. To get in a bar fight you just turn around and spread your ass like, <laughs> come on motherfucker <laughs> sorry i'm just doing what my iphone says yeah exactly <laughs> No, but I'm excited for the Apple Vision Pro. I think it's it's a you dumb see idea. How much that motherfucker is? Yeah, but it's the Pro, so they're. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying they're bringing that one out first to tell everybody, and then a few months before its release, they're going to be like, "Here's the Apple Vision regular." That's only two thousand. Hold on a yeah, second, but it'll so, it's step one, dude. When okay. when HD TVs came out uh, initially in the late '90s, early 2000s, yeah, it was nine thousand dollars yeah, for it. Uh, the very first ones you've got to get that group of rich people that can spend 20 grand on something stupid uh, initially yep. then the company that tesla was the same way you yep. know the first teslas that came out were a hundred and something grand yep. you get a bunch of rich assholes that buy it and then the next line that comes out is half that much yep. and then 10 years later then you can get a tesla for fucking 30 grand or whatever I, it is I, I, I don't remember apple ever getting <clears throat> any cheaper th- oh oh yeah I I like mean, if you, you go if you go, go buy an iphone 4 now right now it's it's, fucking, it's, it's less like 29.99 yeah, yeah, exactly. or something but no, that's a good point. That is a good point. I will give you that. But I, I also don't. I'm not one of the person people that want to watch porn with the fucking headset on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd have to I duck don't. at the end of every scene. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck, almost got me on that one. I th- uh, it's more no. <laughs> augmented reality than virtual reality. I don't want to do that. Like, I'm. And I know this is just me personally. I, I don't. I'm not talking shit on other people that want to go into. Like uh, I like Ready Player One. You've seen mm-hmm. that movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of the same thing. Like I I'm I don't have 
Now, granted, if that was what it was, I would want to do that. But I don't want to go. That's what it will be. Bullshit. Eventually, that's exactly what it will be, man. Yeah, did you see the fucking, like, the way the world was, the actual world? Yeah, fuck that. I don't want that. But at the same time, I understand why other people want to do it, but I'm just not that guy. That's just not my thing. I want, I was so pissed off when I found out, like, the new game consoles that they were actually, like, when the Wii came out and you actually had to move and do shit. No, I want to sit on my couch and have the remote and just do it that way. Yeah. I'm that guy. So that's just me, but I'm not. I'm not a target market for this particular not Vision Pro bullshit. I think I've said this on this show before, but they say like whatever technology exists between the time you're born and age 18 is like just normal. That's the way the world is. Whatever technology exists between age 18 and 40 is like new and exciting. And any technology that comes out after you turn 40, you just go, well, you don't fucking need this. This just isn't right. This shouldn't be. Yeah. But it's like how it's going to be. And it's pretty exciting. But I'm not 40. Yeah, you're getting close. I'm getting closer. Yeah, it's true. Uh, but the last thing on my list, it just scares the ever-living shit out of me, so I figured you guys would enjoy it. But a Russian man dies after being mauled by a tiger shark in a rare attack near the Egyptian Red Sea Resort. I saw that. That's sad. I watched the video. Mm-hmm. That is the most terrifying fucking thing I have ever seen. Oh, you have to seen. send me that. I haven't seen that. Oh, it's it's... It's it, awful. It's absolutely fucking awful. Because it, would, it wouldn't be bad if the dude was just swimming and then just disappeared. And disappeared? No. And then, like, blood, like, uh, yeah. jaws or whatever. But, yeah. no, the dude's like, oh, like, I got bit my shit. Like, you, he didn't actually yell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got, yeah, it's, send it to It's me. fucked up. And, and And you can see in the video the blood. You can see it mm. because it's red around and it's discolored. And then you can see the shark. Could like have come out of, out of the he water. He could have had Kool Aid oh, packets in his fuck. pocket. He could have. He really like, could have. The fake. ocean He's delicious. friends with that shark. Yeah, probably. But everybody that's and then there was another one. There was another tiger shark that attacked a guy off of uh, Hawaii that was in a fucking um, kayak looking thing. Did you see that thing? I think I know what you're talking about. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. Like, I mean, I don't know what you're doing in the water. Anyway. No. No, like, what, we don't belong there. We ain't fucking. No, I wish I knew the name of the tribe in Avatar Two. Yeah, because uh, that would have been a whatever. Good one to the say Navi, right there. Nah. Navi, no, no the other. Oh, oh, the, the other water one? tribe. Oh, I don't know. It's a good movie. It I is watched a good it movie. The other day. It's good. I went into it and I was like, Psh, "Fucking Avatar." All right, and yeah. then by the end, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "You're holding your breath." She's one with the. Oh yeah, I held my breath See? a lot yeah, through the movie. I'm sure Anytime you did. there's swimming movies yeah. or hold your breath movies, I'm always like, I, I, "Dude, I would be it's dead." The full effect. I'd be dead right now. Yep, you got the full effect. That's exactly right. I did see a funny meme about sharks that made me laugh today, and it said, "If you watch Jaws backwards." It's just a heartwarming story about a shark who gives arms and legs to disabled people. <laughs> <laughs> Which that made me giggle pretty hard. With Jaws being one of my top ten favorite movies of all time, that's a pretty old meme, but just saying. I'd never seen it. I it know. made me giggle. I know. That's good because it made me giggle the first time I saw it years ago, too. Okay, well, that is the current events. Now we get to move on to the fun stuff where uh, if you guys do have any suggestions for any of these uh, segments, you can send them to us at Twitter, which is at LOT Sidelines. A lot of the uh, XX Derek's t shirt size. Uh, content will be on Twitter because it will not get taken down. Um, or you can also send it to us at Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines. So again, if you have any suggestions, you can send them to those. And uh, I am trying to keep up with those as best I possibly can. If I haven't responded to you, it's probably because we've already done it. So just so you know. Uh, all right. First one, we're going to go with overrated or underrated. Uh, we're going to kick this off with overrated or underrated abnormal laughs. Underrated. My okay. wife has one of these, and it's the best thing in the world. Yeah, she does. Yeah, my friend Brian has one, and Brian's, my friend Matt has one, Bri- and they're awesome. That is why you befriend these they're people. They're contagious, man. Yeah. You get somebody with a funny laugh that starts laughing, and everybody just starts fucking laughing. There's nothing more contagious than a fucking funny laugh. I agree. Uh we had we had Jake and AJ on the show. I'm wearing his shirt, AJ Wilkerson. And did you see him laugh or hear him laugh? I don't remember. I was pretty blacked you out. You were pretty drunk <laughs> at that particular <laughs> deal. Uh, but he has one too. But there's a couple of videos that are going around of, of people in the audience having laughs. That makes a fucking set, I mm-hmm. would guess. If you've got a good laugher, oh man, if you can target them in some particular way to uh-huh. let it come out, that's like 
gold That's right there. That exact thing happened during my special recording. Perfect. There was a good laugher in there that I had to stop telling jokes and just let her laugh. And then the audience laughed at her laugh. Yes. And then everybody quieted down. And then she did it again. And they all laughed again. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, that's I, I like a good laugh. It's annoying, though. Like, it can be annoying. Yes. If Especially if you have a crowd of... 20 yes the one person who with the weird laugh eventually makes everybody else not want to laugh out loud that's true and then it's weird yeah brian our buddy brian has has i think one of those laughs that you can i mean you can hear it from a mile away he's the laugher where you can't hear him laugh initially but his gasp of air Uh afterwards is Uh that's that's what it is and i love that dude so much but that's uh yeah that's his laugh okay uh, next one, overrated or underrated, going to town on yourself so hard that police respond to a noise complaint. No, that's over. Uh, wait, whatever makes it bad. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Why like, not? I, it sounds I, painful. <laughs> that and I just, I'm not a noise maker. <laughs> I don't like, I've had girls complain about that. Like I've been getting blown before and had a girl be like, you can at least act like you're enjoying this. <laughs> And I was oh. like, I am. Like, I'm, I'm just not like a oh kind of guy. You just be like, woo! Right? <laughs> Suck that car! I, I grew up in a small house. I had two sisters and my mom and dad. I couldn't fucking, like, go at myself <laughs> in my room without somebody being like, what are you doing in there? Oh, so I've, I've learned to just be quiet. Everything sexual to me is quiet. Yeah. I saw a tweet today. I think it was a tweet. Somebody said, uh, I wish that my dick could make my girlfriend make the noise that she makes when i scratch her back because <laughs> i and i'm the same way if i get a massage or something i'm like oh <laughs> but if i get a blowjob i'm just like don't massage my dick <laughs> right. it's not gonna you're not gonna get it yeah that doesn't like the only noise i should have to make when i'm getting blown is i'm gonna come i'm gonna come <laughs> That's yeah. my blowjob noise. Yeah, no, I think that I think that should be everybody's. But I, and you know, I guess it's not that bad if you're making those noise while somebody else is doing something to you. But if you're doing it to yourself, yeah, what? How fucking weird is that? So underrated. Fair enough. <laughs> Derek's like, I mean, you know, I like to fucking so go under- wild. That's why I, I guess said- I abstain from this question. <laughs> why? Because <laughs> no, I fucking that's stupid. That's because a couple of weeks ago he got called for a noise complaint no i fucking uh, no i i've played some shit very loud whenever the neighbor's kids were being too noisy <laughs> i've done that and opened the windows but but that's about it mike yeah can i ask you a question i suppose what do you think Derek's sex noise is uh I just I assume it's could you imagine could you imagine him first of all ever having sex one but two if he was (laughs) what would Derek's O face look like I don't know what his face would look like but I just I mean I'm (laughs) sitting here talking to him now so I imagine that he would be like do you want me to put my penis in right here and yeah, well, this one time I was working with this guy, and, and he told me that girls like it when I put that. I don't know. That's my terrible Derek impression. I don't know if it's good or not. We can oh, fair enough. roll Sorry. it back. We'll uh, see in the comments. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. All but, right. yes, see, that's why I didn't have a good response, because, yeah, I can imagine you fucking, and you're great at it. <laughs> <laughs> Go get her, buddy. <laughs> this is like that deep fake thing for you. <laughs> You're my AI. You're my deep fake. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Whew. All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? The new rodeo event, 20 people in bubble balls and one bull. That sounds all right. I saw a video the other day with the wind. Did you see that? Oh, no. There were uh, at like a kid's party, and there were several kids in these big balls playing in this thing, and the wind, it was like... Not tornado, but pretty close. And you just see this kid, like, I mean, it had to be 40 feet up in the air. Yes. I, don't, I don't know what happened after it landed or anything, but it was definitely a, a video worth watching. All right, the shark video and the wind video. You yep. Send me both. Okay. No, I saw a video actually of this. There's a race that a couple of rodeos do around the Midwest, and they put these people in these those bu- big, huge bubble balls, and they have to go run. They have to basically do barrel race. They have to go around the barrel and 
and back, and they have one bull right there in the middle, and the bull just starts attacking people. And if you have a bull with sharp horns, it pops the bubble, which Mm. it Mm -hmm. did to two people. And I thought, this is fucking great. This makes rodeos popular again. So I think this is way underrated. I just can't imagine the the pure panic i would feel <laughs> having to run not just run from a bull but run from a bull with like a wet blanket wrapped around your entire body a deflated condom yes <laughs> that's what it kind of looked like how about you Derek? uh i don't know about rodeos but if they did this shit in pamplona that would be epic oh what definitely <laughs> is that the oh, running running, of the running bulls? Of the bulls? yeah Fuck that would yeah. be fucking fantastic oh man it's it's just great Okay, uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Oversized bing bag chairs. Underrated. Really? <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> badass, dude. Wow, that was quick. I man. like I like the memory and the comfort of sitting in a bean bag chair and playing Nintendo. But now I'm 41 and I can't get down into a <laughs> bean bag chair and get up comfortably. But if I had an oversized one, okay. one that was like the size of my recliner, yeah, I'd fucking. I'd get less done than I get done now, <laughs> okay. and I hardly get anything done now. Uh, okay, yeah, these are underrated. I, I I think that if I had if I just had like a, a just a floor with a whole bunch of beanbag chairs, it would just be amazing. So I'm gonna go underrated, Derek. I'm gonna go overrated, okay? Because I would look like that guy that had the ball popped <laughs> trying to get out of that fucking <laughs> thing. Like there's no goddamn way uh, I'd be stuck. No, you'd have to just do the rollover push-up. No. I yeah. think you could do that. Yeah, just roll that, out of it and push up. That's like an exercise in itself. Like uh, I was watching something about the big fat guy that lost a bunch of weight, and uh, they made – during the first week or two, he did these things called get-ups, mm-hmm. or that's what they call them, which is basically just where you get yourself down on the floor, and then you got to get back up. And it's like figure out the easiest way to do that and then switch it up a couple times and do three sets of 20 or whatever. And the first day, this guy did it like twice. He got down on the ground then got himself back up, like pushing off a table and a chair and shit. And he's like, that's it. All right. But then it cuts to like a month later and he just like falls himself down and then like stands himself back up. And he's like, man, I'm getting really good at this. Oh, wow. I don't know. It's a, uh, it's progression, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So Motiv- get, motivation. Get you that bean bag, Motivation. Buddy. Yeah. A month yeah. from now, you'll be hopping in and out of that. <laughs> that's, <right. laughs> that's right. All right. Last one. Overrated or underrated? Selling naked pictures of yourself for $10,000 per month. I told you I'm not selling you shit. I don't want it, Derek. I told you. I'm not for ten grand. not for twenty grand. Okay. Maybe for fifty. That's fine. That's fine. I, I just miss the days when, uh, like, being a whore wasn't cool. high five. I know. You know? It's weird. Like, it's kind of weird. Times have changed. It should be frowned upon again. Well, do you think that's everybody? I don't know very many people that like really want to get with a hoe bag like that. Uh, no, I mean most like I mean, maybe get with it, but you're definitely not looking to like settle down with it. No, I'm using it as an object. It, yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean this thing here yeah. that costs, that's making ten G's a month? <laughs> the thing that's causing me to have noise complaints by myself. No, that's like the. Uh, like I would hook up with her, yes, yeah, and I would want her to stop doing and that. be with me, but then she wouldn't, and we would have a terrible relationship together. Yeah. Like that would—that's the. So you're definitely overrated then. Yeah, I mean, I don't. It's I'm I'm a hypocrite because I'll still look up porn and stuff, you know. <laughs> but, I'll, but yeah, but you I'll don't still wanna, if yeah. a if a comedian girl that I know starts an OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, here's my fucking fifteen dollars. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's see your butthole. Yeah, <laughs> that's precisely what I hoped it would look like. That's, all right, and that, cancel. God damn, <laughs> times times have changed, man. That's kind of where I am. I, I'm gonna say overrated, but kind of underrated. I mean. I think about these these like younger, you know, well, younger, 18 to 19 year old girls that are getting like minimum wage jobs working at McDonald's or Taco Bell or some shit like that and mm-hmm. getting paid not, next to nothing. Or you can turn your balloon knot into a fucking ATM and just get 10 grand a month. Yeah, but like, only if you're hot. Uh, well, that's true. Or like, at least uh, hot enough. Motivation speech number two of the show. Get hot. Go. So we got the beanbag fat ass, and then you got the ugly chick, you know, get attractive. With a nice butthole. With a nice butthole. Yeah, some and fat gross chicks, you see their butthole, and you're like, God, if you would just I, lose some weight. Actually, I don't know. Some dudes are into that kind of shit. Some dudes are into some weird, funky, crazy shit. 
Uh, yeah. Some dude, you mean you? No. No, but anything gross, it, there's a guy out there that's like, hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah, I love that. Two girls, one cup, my favorite porno. Fuck yeah. So, yeah, that's it's weird. Yeah. There's it, some always... weird stuff. I'm a very normal. Normal porn? I think so, <laughs> We've had yeah. this conversation on the show, and I just haven't shared it before because I don't think anybody would let me on, but I think Twitter will, so I might share it again. That's that. That's this porn that you like, where, <laughs> where there's two girls and one's having a conversation. Oh with yeah, them. yeah. Remember that? I do remember that. Yeah, and I I have that video on my phone, just ready to go when I want it to. <laughs> but I want to put it on TikTok. But I know they'll take it down. Oh yeah, in a heartbeat. But Twitter's that's what Twitter's for. Uh, how about you, Derek? Uh, underrated. Underrated. Underrated for that. And I'm just thinking into the future because. Political races are going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, they are going to be fantastic. Well, look at her butthole from 23 <laughs> years ago. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Do you I, want this running the country? Well, look what he shoved in his urethra. <laughs> oh, ouch. ouch. Your tax dollars. <laughs> Your tax dollars. <laughs> Dude, I would pay twenty four ninety nine a month to see AOC's OnlyFans. <laughs> Obviously, this is not a political show. However, <laughs> I probably would too. <laughs> have you seen that video of her dancing on a rooftop? Yeah, no, I have. She's haven't. so fucking cute, dude. Oh, I'm but not. then you watch her do like politics and stuff, and you're like, psh, yep, no politics on the show. That's why I, psh, I know. Did it. <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, that was overrated or underrated. Now we get to get on to a show that a whole bunch of people really apparently they like. I, I changed a little bit. It's going to be love that guy or fuck that guy. Uh, one of the two. Okay. Uh, so basically, these are people that we we know or have certain kind of tendencies and whether we like them or not. So the first one is love that guy or fuck that guy. The guy who flashes his headlights at you to let you know there is a cop hiding in the bushes ahead. I love that guy. Fucking love that guy. You have saved me so many times. So much money. Thank you to that particular person. Or you can just get a fucking radar detector, but that's beside the point. My my phone will do it every once in a while if I yeah. have my maps going. It'll say, like, yeah. speed. Speed trap ahead. Yeah, but yeah. It, I, it's rare that I actually see Pay a attention. cop there. Yeah. But, yes, not all heroes uh, wear capes. There. Uh, fuck that guy. Why? Because I never see the cop. <laughs> well, so I'm like, well, why'd he flash me? My headlights are on. And then I try to figure out what the fuck the problem is. Well, that's because you just need to know the rules of the road. Dude. Yeah. He's no, only... my headlights are on. I don't know why, I don't know why he's flashing. Then there's a cop ahead, but it's he's not that. He must be off doing something else. Oh, yeah. that he, could be. He got called in to, could be. to something else. He's yeah. like, there's a man down at the rodeo. We need you. <laughs> Yeah. Get down to the arena. Stat. He's wrapped in a condom and there's a <laughs> bull mad at him. Bring your tranquilizer gun. That's right. And don't wear red. <laughs> All right. Next one. Love that guy or fuck that guy. The guy who keeps clicking his pen. Fuck I that love guy. that guy. <laughs> You're that guy. Is that, I felt personally attacked with that one. <laughs> no, I wrote this this I, I wrote this this morning. Well, I've been here clicking my pen for you, months. You want to know why? Why? Because I'm that fucking guy too. <laughs> I love that guy. Uh, I, I have to be doing something. Something with, you're fidgeting with your hands all the time, dude. I need to. If you watch my comedy special, I don't let go of yeah, the you, microphone yeah, stand the yep. entire time. I have to fucking be doing something with it. Yeah, I I I am that guy as well. I, I it's the clicker pens. It's my vape. It's it's whatever I have to be doing something or else I have to get up and walk around. Like I'll do that at work. Like I'll just be walking around and I'll be like, what the fuck did I, Oh, and I got to go back all the way to my, which is like 50 yards away. So I'm like, well, but you're doing it? something. I got to be doing something. And if time. you, if you do it f faster than regular, then the people above you are like, Oh, he's, like, he's got to be working. Yeah. He's, he's on doing his way to do something important. <laughs> Little they know. How about you, Derek? You said fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. I fidget, and I'm all for that. But the pen yeah. clicking thing, I can't do it. You can't do it. it I just, can't listen to it. Just I gets can't. under your skin yes. a little bit. Okay. Yeah, you gotta do. You gotta do your fidgets quietly. You do. Yeah, and absolutely. I feel like uh, this thing is I've, perfect. I've right. learned to do that reason, but every once in a while, I do that shit and I drop it. Nah. I learned this in math class, so like, I would drop it a hundred times per class. Yeah. But by the end of the semester. With my D minus, I fucking mastered this, <laughs> and I got through the class. My fidget at work is loud because a guy that one of the guys I work with brought me in a top, 
like some metal company that <laughs> oh had, yeah and made these tops that are like what are you doing here just fidgeting you just hear <laughs> that's what you hear yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and it spins for a while but it, it moves as it spins so it'll like hit hit the desk and then like a crease in the desk and then <laughs> yeah. so and, and and then i have that and i have magnets like the little magnet rocks or whatever i like those yeah. too yeah and i've got like six of them so i'll just keep rotating them to where they click 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 click, 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 <laughs> click. yeah and i don't realize i'm doing it so i am that guy too okay fair enough so fuck you yeah fuck yeah. yourself well, yeah but not too loud that they call the cops <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right, next one. Love that guy or fuck that guy. The guy that takes up four parking spaces as far away from the entrance door as possible all by himself. Love him. Yeah. Really? I yeah. love him. Fucking park all the way back there. If you're going to be, if you, if you don't want your car hit that much or that badly, then park in the back. Don't be that asshole that parks like takes two spots or three spots right in front of the fucking entrance. He, but, but he's taking up four. But he's yeah, way but the not, fuck away. It's he's not a, a, if it's Christmas time or whatever at the mall, then maybe you're a dick because it's like packed. And But on a regular day, the whole grocery store parking lot is not filled up. So let that guy park in the back and park like a douche. I yeah, don't care. Yeah. At the movie theater on a Tuesday at 1.30, go ahead and park in the back. Yeah. But if it's like, you know the day after thanksgiving at the mall then it's like no you park in the fucking spot like a human being what what how do you i feel by your anger on your face that you don't like that guy fuck that guy you have a big truck though what Mm -hmm. what do you do you just park in normal spaces if i if i find that guy if i now granted if he's parked out in the middle of nowhere by himself in one parking space totally fine totally fine but if he's taking up four, that means tire in one spot, yeah. parking spot all by itself. Right. I am parking so close to his fucking driver door that he can't get in. Okay. I'm that guy. Don't Teslas have like a button that you can push that will pull your car forward to yeah. you in case that exact thing happens? Well, hopefully this motherfucker's got a Tesla. Otherwise, he's going to have to cl- climb over the fucking passenger seat to get to his driver's seat. Or he's going to just... Uh, Door ding the shit out of it. Right, exactly. Oh, no, it's cool. And I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm an asshole when it comes to shit like this. This is the weird things that drive me fucking nuts. And that's it. What are you going to do with a picture of it? I'm going to take a picture of the license plate just in case if I do have door markings on it. And I'm going to take a picture of him taking up four parking spaces illegally and me being right next to him being legal. Yeah, but they'll say it's on private property and it won't make a difference. I don't care. At least I got something. (laughs) Yeah, or they'll be like, you weren't parked legally either because in order to get close to him, you had to be halfway in two spots. That's true. And then they would send you to jail. Good call. And then you'd get molested raped. whatever but no no <laughs> but seriously we there if, uh-huh. if, i i would still seek that motherfucker out it's just th- those fuck those guys man like i'm i'm out that's just too much for me i just it, it's one of those things that right now i'll be like i would confront him and say something but then in real life like it like the leaving the cart thing anywhere other than putting it back where carts go i'm glad you just brought that up go ahead i see it happen all the time and i just kind of go jeez <laughs> yeah that's all i do yeah. like in my fantasy though i'm like hey put the fucking cart where the carts go yeah. but i never actually say that and i know that there have been there's been several people that have that have sent us that one to do for this particular scenario which is the guy that doesn't ever put away his cart we've talked about this multiple times in shows before however i'm glad you brought it up fuck that guy those are the worst people on the face of the fucking planet, in my opinion. I've but, been. Uh, it depends on what else is going on that day. I uh, see, and I've done. I've actually, and I, I've done both. I actually have parked directly next to a piece of shit, taking up two parking spaces, and okay. watched him come out, and then bitch at him. And then I've also yelled at a person when they like they do. They try to be sneaky. They're assholes. They try to be sneaky. They're they're not that far away from like, the cart deal. Mm-mm. But what they do is they put everything in the back of the cart. <clears throat> then they take the cart and they go along the driver's side and then just put it just right in front of their car, uh-huh. get in the driver door and back out. That's exactly what I <clears throat> saw the other day. Yeah. I, I was like, I, I should fucking say I something. yell at those motherfuckers. I, I will. And if then I, what do they do? It. Do they put it where it goes or do they just go, ah, uh, fuck you? No, they say fuck you and speed off. But, yeah. I, but I want to get in that noggin the whole way home, taking those groceries of how much of a piece of shit you are. No, because I imagine that, that <clears throat> if that happened to me, I would and you wanted to sit around and talk for a few minutes after you told me to fuck off or whatever 
I would be like, normally I would put it back. Today I'm in a big hurry. This is the fifth place that I've been today. It's just a day full of bullshit. I'm sorry. I just unloaded all this stuff. I just want to get the fuck out of here and get home. Mm -hmm. That kind of mentality. That's when I'm like, I just fucking put it right here. I don't have time to. Or if it's pouring down rain. Or if it's hot as fuck or cold as fuck or whatever the case. Like, but no, if it's just beautiful day, that's when it bothers me the most. Because I'm like, you got nothing to do, dude. Oh, you're talking about like tolerating the people that do it in in shitty weather. Yes, I'm a little bit more tolerant, sure. But but no, I'm if I catch you, I'm I'm yelling a. All right. One hundred percent of the time. But anyway, Uh, all right. Next one. People uh, who yell at people who, <laughs> who fuck them, who don't follow instructions. No, uh, love that guy or fuck that guy. The guy that doesn't give up his seat on pa- public transportation. Love that guy. 100%. Okay. okay. I, you, you didn't earn it any more than I earned it. I okay. will not do it. Derek is 100% correct, folks. I love that guy. I, uh, I, I will honestly say that I'm not that guy. I will always give up my seat. I, I, I'm just that guy. But the person that holds his ground and sticks up for, you know, that particular debate, I love that guy. How about you? It just depends on the situation. But it depends on the person. Usually it's a woman. Oh, yeah. If I'm going to be like, oh, here, sit right here, please. Well, I would do that. Yeah. If it's an older woman, absolutely. Uh-huh. An old man, yeah. I'll give him my seat. Kid. But kid. Give a kid your seat? Would nah. you do that? Uh... I don't know. No. I would be less likely. Okay, I'd be like, why don't you sit down, buddy? Yeah. The mom would be like, why don't you quit fucking talking to my kid? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm trying to give him a seat. Yeah, I'm sitting on my lap. Same what thing. the fuck? <laughs> Tell the lady, oh, would you like to sit down? I have a boyfriend. Ah, yeah, yeah. Right. Or there's the classic, like, oh, hey, let me clean off a spot for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jeez. To the lady. Yeah, I know what you meant. Uh, <laughs> not not the to, the, to the old man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's your foundation. You were in how many wars? <laughs> 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 oh. oh, man, I'm going to your estate sale in a couple of weeks. I can, <laughs> s- I can still taste the beaches of Normandy. Oh, God. <laughs> um, anyway. No, really. <laughs> I, can, I can taste. Is that the beach of Normandy? Oh, my God. It's actually Omaha Beach, but that's side the point. I thought it tasted Nebraskan. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, all right. Well, next. Oh, sorry. Last one. Love that guy or fuck that guy. The guy who sends multiple text messages instead of one large text message. Mm, it depends. Again, <laughs> it depends on the guy. I'm, I'm friends with a couple people who do the this exact thing, and it bugs me while it's happening, but it's it's their thing. You know, so that's part of the endearment that I have for them is like, I know if I get a message from Tony, I'm getting 20 messages from Tony. Sure. So I'm going to turn off Tony's notification bell and I'm going to read these once the final one has been sent. (laughs) Fuck you, Tony. No, um, I'm, I'm kind of the same way, but like when I get frustrated with this particular person, it's. It's totally on purpose for this particular person. If there's something where you're having dialogue back and forth and you forget to say something, because I'll do that from time to time. I felt like I was doing it to Derek today when I was texting him about the show, and I, I felt bad because, like, motherfucker, I don't want to send him another text message. It's only I just sent him one. Right. You know, but the one that drives me the most nuts is when my phone is on the, like, face down so I can't see who it is, and I can just feel my phone just continuously going off yeah. like, and you know it's not ringing it's text messages uh-huh. or something it's just going vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> and i'm like son of a bitch i'll call you right back you know what i'm saying yeah so my watch does that uh, yeah when I, when I get on yeah. a roll like that so it's this is like, bzz, this bzz. is just like a fuck that guy sometimes so fuck him sometimes fuck that's him what sometimes. i'm saying yeah, yeah just every once in a while it's not gay, but I still I still love that guy. Yeah, he's I, not hurting anybody. I know, except me and my patience. Right, exactly. But yeah, but it's different when you're like, uh, you know, if the message is like, "Hey, we're gonna meet uh, tomorrow at four thirty or whatever." Mm-hmm. Oh, whoops, sorry. Update. It's five actually. Exactly. Like that's okay. <clears throat> but yeah. I don't like one message that's like, "Hey." And then the next message what is like, you doing? what's up? Yeah. You How was get- your day today? And I'm like, this could all be one message, motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm talking about. How about you, Derek? Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah? I hate that shit, too. Same deal. Whenever I, Especially when I'm not looking at my phone and it starts going off like crazy. And 
I pick it up and it's just a bunch of shit. Yeah. Just shit. Me texting you. Yeah. 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 Fuck you. I know. I know. All right. That is love that guy. Fuck that guy. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. All right. Uh, this week's, uh, first question is going to be blank. Just one of the many services I have to offer. Dancing. Uh, that's me. I'm a dancer. I can dance. I got rhythm and I can, I can teach you how to dance. Do all kinds of that. I teach you how to fuck too. I'm pretty good at that. Um, you can teach me how to fuck. Not you. But <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boy, that's no. boy. Does he have an offer for you? I know. I'm like, I, I feel like there are lots of things I could learn for but. just the low price of nine ninety nine. It's a subscription service. I feel like you teaching me how to fuck though is similar to you like teaching me how to get in shape. I'm like, yeah, no, I know what I need to do. That's just not what I do. No, I can, I can, I can dance. Make for noise it. while she's blowing you, for God's sake. That's the first thing. You <laughs> yeah, do, no yeah. shit. Act like you enjoy it. Trim your toes. Nails. <laughs> no, that's my my big thing that I need to do. Right, because girls get mad when my socks are on. Yeah, They're like you just leaving your socks on. I'm yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the pornos I watch, they all leave them on. Do they really? <laughs> I did not know that. I thought that was a weird thing only I That's do. That's saying I think a lot of black guys leave them on. And oh, pornos. that makes sense. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Romy Lee has a joke about that. He's like, they won't wear a con. They'll wear it. They'll go bareback into some chick that's, yep. you know, been fucked by 700 men, but they won't. They're worried about athlete's foot. <laughs> <laughs> that's Romy Lee's joke. Oh, that's good shit. Yeah, it's fucking fantastic. Uh, let's see. One of you guys. A thing, a service that yeah. I have to offer. Yeah, what's the service you got to offer, man? I'm just, I'm just myself. Yeah, yeah. People, people like it. Full of making laughter. I guess. Yeah, I think so. At least half the half the crowd. I bet. Yeah, that's. I go for about fifty percent. The best part is like the sarcasm and dryness. That's that's the. That's the, what I have to offer. Yeah. <laughs> just being a dick, yeah. sarcastically. Yeah, that's right. That's my favorite. I'm, I'd like to think, uh, God, I don't, other than comedy, I mean, my answer is like, hire me for comedy. You can show. That's a, literally a service that I offer. You but. can show a seven-year-old how to get through that special castle and the cave of that Zelda game. I could do that. See, there you go. That's I service. was like, God damn, where are you going with this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, video game. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, he was yes. going to teach you how to fuck. I could absolutely. <laughs> a seven-year-old to the cave? What the fuck? I know. What am I, a, a, a school teacher <laughs> oh, in California? Oh, First thing fuck. you do, get a van. Yeah. Oh, van. man. Uh, how about you, Derek? Origami. You can do origami? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I mean, everybody oh, can do origami. Yeah, okay. It's just, is it I, good I, or not? I, <laughs> All right. Made you made a, a rock I monster. I made you a ball. Look, look at <laughs> that. Look at that. Boom. Look, look at that. I'm quick. You think I can make it? Nope. LeBron. <laughs> there you go. Uh, all right. Fine. Um, <laughs> next question. What is something you have done that shows how old you are? I the, uh, I got I can do mine. Do it. In. I I remember pushing record and play on a tape player to record a song on the radio. Oh, I've absolutely done that. That I remember very very well, and that's how you know how fucking old I am. I remember when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came out. They had I don't know I don't remember if it was the first Ninja Turtles or the second one, but they had a song called Turtle Power. Two. Was it two? Yep, and, Secret of the Use. And it and it played on the radio like once. I heard it. I loved it. And then I called the radio station to ask them to play it. And the guy was like, yeah, we'll play it at some point. And then I decided to call again using a, a different voice. Looking back now, it was clearly a 10-year-old kid calling over and over again. But I was like, we play Turtle Power? And the guy was like, yeah, we're getting it. You know, like, we're, it'll be next hour or whatever. And then I called back, and I was like, will you play Turtle Power? And the guy's like, dude, <laughs> like, I know it's you. I'll play it at some point. Tur- I don't remember what the question was. Well, but- correction, Turtle Power actually uh, was one. Turtle. I thought you were going to do the Vanilla no, Ice. That was too. That oh, was yeah. Two. No, no, no. The Turtle the Power. Vanilla Ice was the Go Ninja, Go yeah, Ninja, Go. Yeah, that was. Turtle that Power was, yeah. was the spelling the word turtle yeah. and then saying the word power. Power. That one. That was that was the original. Yep. Anyways, Derek. 
What's the question again? Uh, the question <laughs> is, what is something you have done that shows how old you are? Oh, injured myself sleeping? <laughs> really? Fuck, man. I've never fucked my neck up worse than sleeping. Yeah, that's true. You need a softer pillow. Yeah, you do. You need one of those my pillows. No. No, okay. I just, I just figured. Guy does one thing right. <laughs> <laughs> he might not know the law, and he might not know. Uh, but he makes a fucking good pillow. I mean, I it was know. the number one selling pillow I, in America I, I for years. Get, just get a better mattress. Get a Serta. No. I don't think that's it. You really, <laughs> technically, you need a worse mattress. Do you really? I yeah, can't. they say sleeping on the floor is better for you than sleeping on a mattress. Well, I, like, I've done that a lot on accident. I've passed uh-huh. out. That's, that's what it many is. Times. Yeah, but just think how good you feel <laughs> the day after you wake up when your hangover is gone. No, you're like, man, I feel like, pretty good. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. up. Yeah. You're stiffer than shit trying to get up off the floor. We talked about this already. <laughs> It's part of the workout regimen. Yeah. You sleep on the floor, and then you got to get up in the morning. Okay. Uh, next one. Or did you already go? I didn't think no, I you did. No, you did not go. I told go. a stupid story did, about yeah, turtle power, but no, that but what, doesn't tell me that I'm old. What is something that you have done that shows how old you are? I, I'm just seeing white and gray hairs all over. Well, that you've done. I've grown them. Oh, you've grown them. That's what I've done that makes me feel old. I'm like, fuck my b- balls. <laughs> you got gray balls? I don't I'm not saying gray balls. Gray just pubes. Individual hairs. They're distinguished. Yeah. Are, yeah. They're highlights. They're pluckable still. Oh, yeah. Not on my balls. Fuck them. I don't care that. <laughs> but I get them on my... Uh, when I first started... <laughs> when right my now. beard first started graying, I actually went to one of those eyebrow threading places. I lived in New York at the time. And I was like, just pluck all the white ones. And the lady was like, there's too many. <laughs> and I was like, no, come on. Like, they're in there. You can get them out individually. And another lady ended up doing it. It actually looked pretty dope <laughs> after it? I got it done. But then they all grew back again. Uh, I see that yeah looks like it okay uh next one now trending in vegas people are starting to bet on blank indian poker indian poker yeah fuck yeah dude that would be the best world series of poker ever is yep. that that's where you play regular poker but a guy's doing this to your arm <laughs> the whole time <laughs> No, no, that's whenever you have the card up to your head and uh, everybody else can see the card but you. Yeah, that's and fun. You're, you're betting back. No, no, uh, fucking $50. Yeah. $1,000. Yeah, I could see that. that I played fucking great. I played poker with some friends a, a week or two ago and we were playing Texas Hold'em just normal for a while. And then we did a few hands where it was Texas Hold'em, but we just showed all the cards. Mm-hmm. So I would deal you two cards, but both face up. So we were still betting on like, uh, if I catch the whatever, then yeah. I'm going to get it. But like everybody knew what everybody else had. It made everybody honest. It was fun. Yeah. Nobody's a lying bastard. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I went with uh, the over or under of catastrophic events within the next 10 years. Hmm. I think that's, uh, I mean, that actually could be something, but I'm just saying. I'm going for the over in this particular category. You think it's going to be more than 10 years uh, before something catastrophic happens? No, it's just the over under of cat like uh how like many? like how many bullshit things are going to happen, like not maybe cataclysmic events, but you know like something stupid. Like like let's say COVID being an example, mm-hmm. like the over under of how many big huge worldwide tragedies are going to happen in the next 10 years. I'm yeah. taking the over. I mean, I don't, I don't, COVID was the first thing in my lifetime that affected like the world. Yeah. As far as I know. I mean, you know, 9 11 and stuff, people in sure. Mongolia were like, eh, sorry, that sucks. <laughs> but <laughs> they weren't like, oh my God, no. There was one tribe in Africa that sent us a bunch of cows. Did you know that? No. Totally did. How'd they get them to they us? They were sacred cows, too. So they're a tribe in Africa, but they also. Oh, have, no. UPS trucks, motherfucker. They have UPS. Yeah, they called them. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Boy, what can Brown do for you? I guess. <laughs> Jesus, they can deliver a shitload of cows. I know. They, they can't get me my fucking. Wouldn't you have loved to be on the White House lawn when that day came? <laughs> like, fucking like, beat the shit UPS. UPS truck that just has all kinds of sand and shit all over it, just dropping off cows in the uh, front bro, yard. There's a hundred cows <laughs> here. I, I have a package what... for you, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right. Anyway, uh, is that everybody? Uh, no, That's I was. Not... Mine was sort of on the same line as yours, except uh, okay. I just wanted to bet when uh, Joe Biden was going to die. Oh, it's like the Ooh, Deadpool. That's true. 
All right. Uh, next one. The worst people in the world are people who sell blank. This one hurts me personally because oh. I've done sales and I was definitely one of those people for a while. The first thing that I sold was above ground swimming pools. Have we okay. talked about this? No. I would. I worked at a place, uh, doesn't matter what it's called, they had an ad in the newspaper. This is when people still read newspapers all the time. This is like mid-90s, late-90s. But they had an ad in the paper for an above-ground pool for $999 and then an 800 number. And it said plus installation. That's an inflatable pool now. No, but people would call and they would be like, I saw that pool in the paper. I want it. And then we would say, okay, we just need to send somebody out to your house to look at your yard, tell you how much installation is going to cost. Because the different, you know, the great, the levelness of your yard, all that matters. And they'd be like, all right. And then they would send me out. And I was the salesman that would go out and be like, oh, that $999 pool. You don't want that pool. It's a piece of shit. What you actually want. And this is a two hour process of me saying that going through the kind of filters, the kind of walls, the, the liner, the, all this stuff all this at the end, I'm like, what? What you really need is this $24,000 <laughs> above ground pool with deck lifetime warranty. It really is a good pool. And I see them every once in a while when I'm driving around the country and I'm like, Oh, that's a Bel Air right there. <laughs> but I just felt so bad because the, the way sales works. And this was the same way when I sold Kirby vacuum cleaners is oh. you have a starting price yeah. people you do the demonstration the whole time the person is like tell me how much it costs mm -hmm. and you're like i'll get to that because if you just walk in and you're like well i have a twenty five thousand dollar pool that you can look at they're like no i don't want that one so you got to spend hours telling them how amazing this thing is so when you finally bust the price on them they're like oh jesus yeah well i really want it but so the point with sales is with the pool, you start at 25 grand with the Kirby vacuum. When I did it, you start at $2,000. Uh, one out of 10 sales that you make, they buy it right then where you go, this is how much it is. And they go, all right, I'll take it. And then you get the maximum uh, commission, mm -hmm. you know, but if they say no, then that's when the bullshit starts. That's when you're like, well, let me call my boss and see what he has to say. So then you pick up their phone, you call your boss and he's like, Hey, I'm jerking off on your mom. And you're like, Oh, that sounds great. I'm here with Mrs. Uh, Cause he's <laughs> doesn't fucking care. They're not listening to him, you know? <laughs> So you're like, yeah, I'm here with Mrs. Johnson. Uh, that's nope. She just can't do it. That's too expensive. And he's like, all right, 22. And I'm like, oh, he says he'll knock $3,000 off. So now that puts your payment at this. Anyway, if you stay there long enough and if they say no enough, you'll get that pool down to fucking $9,000 or something. And they, it's, it pisses. I, I, I don't do sales anymore because of how shady and shitty it made me feel. Okay. With just old ladies being like, I want a pool for 25000 <laughs> And I'd be like, just say no a couple of times. <laughs> Guess who owns a Kirby vacuum cleaner? Me. Same. I will never buy another vacuum again because nope. I have a lifetime warranty on 100%. my Kirby. That That's I, right. That I got for 450 bucks or Fuck whatever. Fuck you, dog. I know. Yeah. I said no a couple times. But did you? Yeah, I did. What would you get yours for? Uh, like 15 or oh so no, it was much more recent so in inflation had happened ah uh, yeah so it was did they take your old vacuum cleaner um no. <laughs> no that's what that was another thing we'd be like how much did you pay for that vacuum and they're like i don't know 100 bucks and i'd be like i'll give you 300 for it oh god fuck it and they're like fine take it i guess <laughs> i'm like hell yeah how about you Derek? fuck you lost me <laughs> i know i'm sorry. I'm sorry please edit out the uh, entire yeah the worst the uh, worst people in the worst per, oh, sorry the worst people in the world are people who sell blank extended car warranties really those fucking phone calls never stop oh the people that do it over the phone yes okay that's the fucking worst oh. even the companies are not like if, if anything that advertises on the game show network while, yeah. while you're watching card sharks with your grandma is yeah. not a good warranty. Company. I, I, I will, I will, I will attest to that. Yeah. She got one and she <laughs> took her car to the car place and they were like, yeah, we don't accept that. Yeah. They yeah. fucking screwed us over so many times. God, this is so weird. So this is what I do on a daily basis is deal with those companies. Oh, and there are a lot of them that are very, very good. Not the ones that have to fucking call you. 
Those are not the good ones. Right. Well, if Ric Flair sells it, it's probably not very good. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I'm watching like, well, they did get Ric Flair. I mean, how much yeah, of that no sh- Well, they do make a lot, a, a pretty decent amount of money. But I will say a majority of the ones that are actually at, sold at dealerships or through your bank are actually absolutely very dependable. Yeah, I'm talking about the people that call. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. The ones that you actually buy your car loan through and stuff like that, they're very dependable. I, most of them, are just this is ridiculous information, but most people that buy them, by the way, um, they normally cost around twenty five hundred dollars to three grand, depending on the vehicle. I will get you to pay for that twice, and I've done it multiple times. So it it, it does work so well. But anyways, so you're yeah. the piece of shit. No, I don't. I don't sell them. I use the fuck out of them though. Ah, okay. yeah, I'm the guy that fixes it. Um, but yeah, all, all I was gonna say was anybody who sells shit door to door. That was me. That was mine. I'm so sorry. I was a piece of shit. It was a long, drawn out reasoning of, but the exact same thing that Mike used to do. But anything, anything, selling doors door to door. Fuck those guys. That's just ridiculous. I got. I was uh, the first part of doing door to door sales is they make you go through your whole friend and family list. Oh yeah, because they're like these are potential leads. Like call all your friends, call all your family, ask them if you can do a demo at their house. <sighs> So I went to this girl, Laura's house that I went to high school with and her mom was there and Laura was there watching me do the demo. And her dad was just in the kitchen reading the newspaper. And I was like, you want to come in and watch this? And he was like, nope. <laughs> and he just kept reading his paper. He fucking hated me from the moment I walked in. Cause he knew what I now know, which yeah. is that I'm trying to rip his family off or oh. whatever. It got to the point where the mom's like, no, I can't afford it. I don't think so, but you did good. And thank you. And I was like, but what if we, and she's like, I just don't think so. And finally the dad gets up, he puts his paper down, he walks into the living room. He he picks up the whole Kirby vacuum, opens the front door, throws it out the front door and goes, you're fucking next. Now get out of here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. And Laura's like, dad. And I was like, sorry, I'll see you at school on Monday. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's what happens when you do that shit. All right. And uh, last question. What is the I'm uh, sorry. What is worse than the Holocaust? Being in the shower when your alarm goes off on your cell phone. <laughs> that is the worst. You can I mean, t- now I know what these guys went through. Because oh. it is just the uh, constant. Just imagine. I'm, they oh. had showers. Yeah. And just imagine if they're all in there and then their phone's going off. That's terrible. The alarm just won't stop. You can't get to it. They're That's- all in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, oh, you were in the Holocaust? Yeah, be lucky. Oh, be, be cell lucky. phones weren't around then. But really, I do hate that. <laughs> now Siri can uh, to just turn it off for me. I'm like, turn I, off my ducking alarm. I've learned that. Oh, and that's part of the new update, too, where you don't have to say hey anymore. Oh, cool. You, it, you, it, once it updates, you'll just, just be able to be like, Siri, what is this? I already <laughs> updated it, so I should be good to go then. You have iOS. 17 whatever they just came out i just updated it today you right. fancy piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> updating break um so no I, I this is what i think is worse i think that it is worse that there are actually people on the face of this planet that actually thinks that the earth is flat and those same people probably think that uh, the holocaust never even happened Thanks for paying attention, you pieces of fucking shit. We both have, yeah. No, that was going to be my answer was like uh, something that actually happened. Yeah. Was the joke. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> fine. So, but no, I I'm, I'm, I believe it. Yeah. It probably happened. Derek didn't even fucking pay attention. Yeah, people believe the earth's flat, right? Uh, okay, yeah. The moon, but that's different. And the moon's round. But there are, like, uh, if you've read, which you haven't, but there's a book called The Gulag Archipelago. Have you heard of that? I've heard of it, yeah. It's some of the worst shit that you can possibly imagine. It was like in Russia, Stalin type mm-hmm. days yep. where they're like putting all these people basically in concentration camps. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they... We did that one time. They had no desire to keep any of these people alive. Like they didn't give a fuck about them. So mm-hmm. they that's when... And it's the same sort of stories. I forget what the name of the town is, but there's like a China versus Japan thing that's called the rape of something and it's just these people doing experiments on people just fucking everybody's wives and daughters in front of them and then killing them and all this terrible stuff that happened during the like shit we talk about the holocaust is like the worst thing but it's probably on a list of like the 20 worst things that humans have ever done to each other but the thing that sticks out for me in the gulag archipelago is they 
they would build like a, a closet sized room that you can't lean left or right in. You're just standing up straight and they would take a guy's legs and they would tie his, his feet to the back of his legs. So his knees are bent and then they would put him in this room just propped up on his knees and you can't get off of it. So just all of his body weight is just on his kneecaps ah. for days. And they would leave him in there for days. And then they would pull him out and have like his wife there with a gun to her head and be like, if you can run a mile in less than 10 minutes, work, we'll let her live. And the guy's legs are just dead. That and, sucks. Oh, dude, it's like some of the worst. And that's just one of the things that I'm allowed to say on the radio or whatever. <laughs> like, there's way worse shit in this book than that. And it's fucking humans are terrible people. Well, yeah. If we can find a reason why this person that I'm doing it to is not really a human. Oh. And people can convince themselves of that for lots of reasons. I'm and sure. we're going through it right now. Oh, boy. With, with politics and whatnot. Like, yeah we're getting to the point where it's going to be like, fuck anybody who thinks this way. Let's lock them all up. Oh God. I hope not. Oh, all right. Shit. Wait, fucking wait. downer. Quit wow. asking about Holocaust. No shit. <laughs> no shit. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us at laughing on the sidelines, uh, on Instagram or at L O T sidelines on Twitter. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft uh, brought to you by Derek and his uh, oversized beanbag chair that he's going to have sponsored to us. What you got? I am an oversized beanbag chair. You sure are. I was going to make a balls joke there. Yeah. (laughs) You get it. All right. Well, last uh, last week, I believe, what did we do? Our biggest uh, uh, disses. Most best insults. Our yeah. best insults that uh, <laughs> did not last very long on Facebook. And by it didn't last long, I meant like two and a half seconds. They took it down? Immediately. Because what? What insult? Because Scotty didn't show him how to fuck. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I tried to post it, and it wouldn't even... It, it, like, went through and was like, this is a violation of our terms and conditions and all that other bullshit. So I was like, okay, fine. So uh, we shared it on to Twitter, and Twitter uh, was very, very loud and obnoxious about how Derek won that because of Crunchy Tits. So Crunchy, Crunchy Tits, tits. Was, the, was the game winner. Uh, JP did come in second. He didn't win, but he didn't come in last. I came in last. Uh, so by technicality, I get the sandwich picks this week. Derek gets the championship picks. And Mike, as the guest, you get first pick. And this week's draft is going to be... Our favorite animated series, so animated TV series, uh, cartoons, and we are allowed, allowing the, the computer stuff, I guess. Computer animation. Computer animation. Yeah, yeah All right. something like I that. I might animation. get to one of those. My first choice. Yep, you get the very first pick, Mike. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. That's a great pick. It really is a good show. It it's, really it's a very, is. It's smart, but with plenty of fart jokes. Oh, yeah. It's the perfect right in between. Yeah. I like it. All right, so I get the second pick, and and I think, first of all, I do not like very many animated series. There's one that I tolerate because it's fucking funny, and that is Family Guy. I'm going to take Family Guy because that's one I could actually sit through and enjoy, Mm -hmm. so I'll take Family Guy. Okay. Derek, you get two in a row, dog. South Park. Yeah, that's... uh, that's the go-to. And my favorite growing up, and now there's new episodes of it again, Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, you can oh, have nice. it. It was good back then. I'm not excited about it now. I've good. heard good things about the new season. Really? It's, it's good, yeah. They do, uh, like, instead of music videos, they're watching, like, viral YouTube clips and stuff. Okay. Is the way it was explained to me. Yeah, I liked the movie. They did it the mo- I heard most they did recent movie. movie. Yeah. I watched that with a tender date. Oh, did you? So I kind of half watched it. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> but it was good. Show her how to fuck. I I showed her how I fuck. <laughs> he was he was getting a blowjob, and they could both hear it just fine. <laughs> See, yeah. there you go. It's best for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, well, I, I guess I get my <laughs> my second pick, and uh, it's always going to be this to me. A lot of the time, I have them actually up here on my. Uh, 
are on the desk. We normally have them, but I took them down for other reasons. But to put I'll, in your butt. Nope. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, was really was when I was a kid. That was like my go-to. I had to watch. Yeah, Man, Mike's up here talking about turtle power. I Tur- know turtle power. No, that was Fuck the movie yeah. though. Those were real turtles. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> No, right. but, dude, if you go back and watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the very first one, it's, it's still a pretty good movie. Is it? Yeah. I'll have to do that. It's not dorky. It was kind of dark and sinister. The second one's stupid. Yeah. But still funny. Uh, all right, Mike, you get two in a row, dude. Um, okay, I will do uh, psh, psh, American Dad. Okay. Because okay. of Roger. Yeah. Roger the Alien. Okay. That show still holds up, even though it's not on Fox anymore. It's on TBS now, but they. Okay. I feel like that allows them to get away with a little bit more. All right. My next pick is going to be King of the Hill. Damn it. Oh, that was Derek's. That's, was it? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, dude. You're good. That's one of my favorites. That is. God damn it, Bobby. Stop dancing. Makes you look queer. My friends used to tell me I looked like Bobby Hill when I was younger. Oh, my God. I was just a fat kid with blonde hair. Yeah, and, I don't see it. Well. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Um, is Bobby Hill gay? <laughs> no. I'm or are you just saying ma- that I, I am? Ma- ma- make it look queer thing. Uh, Derek. or No, that's no. it's actually my, my pick because mm-hmm. you did uh, American Dad and King of the Hill. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I actually started watching a little bit of this, and I'm going to go with F is for Family. Okay. Uh, good old Bill, Bill Burr. Burr. Yep. I gotta, oh, yeah, that's I, a good one. I got to give him a shout out because that's that's very good and very funny. So I, I will do that. Derek, two in a row, dog. Oh, man. That really fucked me with the uh, King of the King Hill. King of the Hill? Yeah. It threw off what I was going to pick other than that. I had two other ones lined this up. This is how you beat him, Mike. This is how you beat him. you got to throw him off. I picked the good ones. you got to pick the good can. ones. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Oh. Derek, you get two in a row. Don't fuck it up. Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers is a good pick. Mm-hmm. Right. I like that a lot. Yep. And then what else do I watch? Oh, buddy. Hang on a minute here. Oh, you oh. cheating bastard. Oh, oh you guys all have your phones out. But oh, we know. cheated before. I've exactly. got two more. And I we think. even said, like, oh, he's going to do it off the top of his head. No, he's I not. I should be able to. But <laughs> yeah. that, he threw me here. He sure did. Keep on doing it. Yeah, what the hell was the one I was going to pick? Uh, I don't know. Which one were you going to pick there, buddy? Uh, I'm just thinking theme songs in my head. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Because I had, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, you work. did. You, you you basically fumbled him. That ain't going to work. Uh, fumbled him. Tell us a cartoon. Come on, dog. Quick. Let's go with. My goodness. There's one. God. There's one blatantly it's, obvious. It's got to be obvious. It's the one I'm fucking thinking. It I is. Had. Yeah, Futurama. Okay. That's one of your picks. That was one of them. Okay. Yeah. That's both mine now. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah. you're right. My Bob's fine. Burgers and Futurama. Wait, no, you said. I thought you said Bob's Burgers last. No, that's that's yeah. right. Yep, you're, he's you're he's on? got. Yep, he's on. He's on the right way to go. So now it's your turn. It is my turn. All right, and. Uh, I am going to go, yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, and I'm going to go Doug. All right. Do, 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 Yep. Nice. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Good timing. That's right. Uh, Mike, you get your last two in a row. All right. Uh, my first pick of my final two is a show on, I think it's on Netflix, and it's called Love, Death, and Robots. Okay. okay. Have you heard of that? No. It's like an animated, futuristic thing. There's like 30 episodes. They're between five minutes and 20 minutes apiece. They're all different like styles of animation and stuff. And it's, okay. it's like a space travel robot, futuristic sort of thing. Yeah. It's really, really good. Definitely worth watching. Okay. And then my last pick... Archer. All right. Archer? Yeah. Have you never watched Archer? Why am I drawing a blank with Archer? He's like a... It's the same dude that does the voice of Bob's Burgers. John Benjamin. Yeah. Got H. It. John Benjamin. Got right? it. I got it. Okay. I, you know I, what I'm talking I, now about? I know what you're talking It took me a minute. It's been a little bit. That yeah. was FX, too. Back yeah. In the day. It's like the spy guy. Right. Yeah, I remember. It's I been remember. a while since I've that watched it. That was actually it, pretty it, good. It holds up. It yeah. does hold up. Yeah. And Lana was hot. Yeah. 
I am going to lose this draft on this next pick. There is a definite automatic number one that we did not select that uh, that needs to be on somebody's list, and it's probably the one that Derek is beating the shit out of himself for not picking. Is it the one that I'm looking at? No. Your, oh, okay. No, because that's the one I'm going to pick. Okay. I am not going to be the douchebag that picks, oh, everybody loves this show, so I'm going to do it just so I can win the draft. I'm not going to do that. I am going to pick Looney Tunes. Because Bugs Bunny and Mar Martian or whatever, all of the that was what I grew up on, and I can still they you can go on Amazon and watch a whole bunch of them, and they're free. So I will do that. But I'm going to take Looney Tunes as my final pick. They took off most of the Yosemite Sam ones. They sure did, and this all of the Speedy Gonzalez ones. Did they not? I don't know if they took off all of them. I hope not, but I'm pretty sure they did. Fuck those guys! I want the original ones. You can still watch them on YouTube. There's still that one where uh, uh, Bugs Bunny is shooting the one little, two little, three little engines, and they just call them engines instead of Indians. Right. Yeah, oh yeah, that was uh, good stuff back then. But uh, they did take that one off. But that you was back on when, YouTube. You could, when you could shoot Indians. <laughs> I guess. Nobody was upset. Yeah. Uh, but no, I did not pick. I, well, is he going to take the pick I'm thinking of there, Derek? Go no, ahead. I'm not going to take the Simpsons. Okay. Oh, See, that's right. the one. That's the one. No. What are you picking? The Boondocks. The Boondocks. Boondocks. Okay. Yeah, all right. I, I'm very surprised, and I know we're going to get some shit for it. I can't believe you guys didn't take the Simpsons. It's the oldest running show still on air today. I, I don't. just got over it. It's kind of that's what happened yeah. immediately when I started watching it. I just got the fuck over it. I, I watched like the first thirteen seasons, fuck and then I was like, "That shit." Ah, it's I missed a couple, and I just was like, eh, "Whatever." I, I just I can't I can't. I'm with you. I, yeah. I can't get into it. I think all the rest of the picks are great. I think the South Park was great. Uh, there was um, oh shit, Rocky and Bullwinkle was another one. X Men I did watch. Oh yeah, Big Mouth on uh, Netflix. SpongeBob SquarePants. But I again, I never liked that show. I never got into it. I just never did. I've heard lots of people be like, "Oh, dude, if you like Rick and Morty, you would love SpongeBob." I'm like, eh, I don't know if that's true. Yeah, Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold, G.I. Joe, Transformers, DuckTales, woo! Oh, DuckTales was yeah, a good one, I yeah. I like that one, too. There's an old one that used to be on uh, Comedy Central back in the day that I used to love, which yeah. is The Critic with John Lovett. Oh, oh yeah. I never really watched that. I is used that to love it. And then it the, stinks. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great fucking show. And uh, the one that I would have picked if I had one more slot would be Ruby. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I see, like, I don't. Uh, I feel like if the cartoon isn't made today, it doesn't hold up as well. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, no, Scooby Doo does not hold up, which is why I enjoy it. Right. Yeah, I enjoy it because it doesn't. I, but but I, all of these are the same way. Like Family Guy is on season twenty three or whatever yeah. now. If you go back and watch season one, it's still good. It's still good. Yeah, it's still but, good. But just to me, like I feel like a a thirteen year old wouldn't enjoy. Yeah, Family Guy season one. Shocking. Stewie is now twenty seven years old. Still looks like a baby. Yeah, it's really weird. Fucking weird. Poor Brian. Guy. Brian's still alive. Kicking. Dogs normally die after, uh, you know, 10 years. Well, he did once. Oh, did he? Okay. He's back again. Too much. Too much into it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. Well, that is our draft. You can go and vote for it on uh, Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. This one's clean enough. I think it'll stay up. But <laughs> you can also go to Twitter, which is at LOT sidelines and vote for your favorite list. Well, the list that has your favorite uh, cartoon TV series, which one has the best list. And then let us know what series you think we should have posted or, or selected other than the fucking simpsons and really. watch love death and robots on netflix do what and then says. we'll talk about it the next yeah. time i'm here but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode this is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and more of those beanbag chairs. Right, Derek? Yeah. yeah sure. What would you call those? Beanbag chairs. That's it? Yeah. Super big beanbag chairs? Just beanbag chairs. Okay, fair enough. I want a beanbag recliner. Yeah, I take it. 
All right. Uh, well, this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation is... All balls. All balls, baby. All fucking balls. Would you rather get hit in the nuts with a baseball or a golf ball? Are we doing cup involved here or no? No cup. No, no cup. No protective layers. And How far away? How we're going to say away? they're both traveling at the same speed. Oh, we're going to even go that route. I, mean, I was oh. just going to say pitcher's mound. Like 60 from feet, six inches. 60 feet, six inches, ball, golf ball off of a driver or baseball from Nolan Ryan in his prime. So they're both going like 100 miles an hour. Or more, yeah. Or more. Yeah. And flying right at your nuts. Right at your nuts. Out. Are you standing or are they doing it like jackass style where you're sitting on your butt with your legs <laughs> spread? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like aiming right for it, you know? <laughs> Either way, I'm picking golf ball just because it's smaller. Just because yeah. of size? I feel like the odds of it destroying my sex life forever are lower with a golf ball than with a, a fastball. Okay. Uh, I, on the other hand, am going baseball. Because more area? There's going to be more surface area that it actually will distribute the impact zone uh -huh. out as opposed to I think that golf ball may tear your dick off. I was going to say a golf ball would like explode a testicle 100%, with that amount of force. 100%, yeah. But a baseball could just drive everything up in you. Oh, you're never having kids again. Oh, that's not that's even the good thing about this. Yeah, <laughs> this is what we need to do. This is how we need to take this care of certain how, issues. This is how they used to do vasectomies in the 40s. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, get out the good old pitching machine. All right, right? sit down, buddy. <laughs> Spread them. <laughs> Are you a doctor? No, I'm a time traveler from Jackass. Is what I am. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm taking a baseball. Yeah. yeah, I've gotten close to this actually happening, so I know what it feels like. I'm going to go with the baseball just because I've seen a <laughs> lot of guys come back from that. Yeah, because I've seen it plenty of times in baseball bloopers and things like mm -hmm. that. And like, like, I think that golf ball, even if it even if it just gets one nut, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's golf. I think that's it. Yeah. If they're it's, going, if we're going from the same distance now, if I'm just fucking chilling on the green laying down and yeah. that thing comes landing on my balls, I'm taking the golf ball all day. Yeah. If it's a pitching wedge or something like that, gravity is going to do a majority. I don't of care the if break. it's a driver. If I'm laying in the middle of the fairway and the fucking thing just lands on my nuts, I'll take the golf ball. Mm. Oh, no. I, I would take a putt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And even then I'd be like, no, just do it <laughs> quick. <laughs> Oh, no, that's oh, that would be the most painful thing I could imagine. I think you die of blood loss. It depends what's behind your nuts, too. If it's if it's your like if you're sitting on your butt <laughs> and it hits it from the top, then it's like uh, your nut is in the middle of a golf ball floor sandwich. <laughs> so the ball puts it into the floor. If you're just standing up, then the ball would just hit it like a like a brr, like a punching bag. <laughs> you. You might accidentally get a golf ball up your ass. Is what I mean, good enough, harder shot, and your butthole angled, your balloon knot, I'm sorry, angled just the right direction, and all of a sudden, it's just in there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I mean, you would have to have just an incredible amount of lube. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to loosen that puppy up ahead of time. My apologies. JP is this particular person. I I would actually watch that video. <laughs> yeah. Like I would click on it. I would click on that sure. title. Golf ball driver drives ball into, <laughs> into asshole. asshole. <laughs> I guarantee it's there. It's probably there. If it isn't, looks like we got some YouTube stuff. We got stuff. some stuff to try. That's <laughs> what we do. Oh, that's so awful. But anyway, I'm Mike Chattanooga, and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, this was a fun one. Um, Mike, so you got... Your special is going to eventually come out. Whenever it does, you'll let us know. I'll let we, everybody know. I, I'm sure you will. It, um, it shouldn't be. I would assume. What are we in now? June. June. I, I bet uh, July. It'll, okay. It'll come out. That'd be I'm, great. That's just my ballpark. I'm sure. Yeah. I could be way wrong. It yeah. might be December. It could be. And that that sucks because I'm on stage being like, it's summer. It's my favorite season right now. <laughs> and they're like, why is this coming out on Christmas? <laughs> So do you have any shows coming up anytime soon? 
Uh, yeah, I've got some Wichita stuff coming up. I'm doing oh, yeah? barley corns with Nick Allen uh, on the. I'm sorry, on the twenty third. Okay, and then uh, we're doing a El Dorado show at the Vaudeville. Is that the city of gold? Is it what? Is it the city of gold? It's uh, I've only been there at night. Oh, so I don't know. It doesn't shimmer, doesn't the shimmer way that all? I thought it would. Fair enough. It's fun though. I've had fun there every time I've been there. Yeah. And then I'm doing uh, some Nebraska stuff in July um, up in, like, the Hastings Grand cool. Island area. Fucking A. It's fun up there. I like it. <laughs> well, every time you come on, dude, I really have a good time with you. I really do appreciate you coming on the show. Thanks. Uh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Uh, but, yeah, anytime you want to come on, you always got an open welcome. We appreciate everything you do. And, uh, Derek, do you have any shows? Uh, July 20th, that weekend, I will be at the Looney Bin. Okay. Nice. Right, there Where you are go. you featuring? Uh, MC. Hosting? Hey. Yeah. That's all right. I got to be the guy that sucks up front. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit. Well, thank you guys very, very much. We do appreciate everything that you do and sharing our episode, letting everybody uh, that you know would like this particular kind of content, let them know about it. That helps uh, spread the show. We sincerely do appreciate you guys doing that. And as we always like to say, guys, if you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us, uh, we hope that you become addicted to Holocaust porn. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, if you don't like us, so tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Is that a stale loaf of bread in your pocket, or oh, are you just happy to see me? That's fucked up. Until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. Bye.